Grab the mango and do a f***ing Wayne Dang impression of the mango flavor right now. If anyone doesn't know Wayne Dang, look him up on TikTok. I love Wayne Dang. Dude, He's I love so him. He's so good. so funny. Today, we're going to be trying the Nectar Heart Seltzer Mystical Mango Flavor. It's cold. It's beautiful. It's crazy. Honestly, for the price, this is quite the steal. I bet the founder is swinging me. If the girl is not attractive to you, would you still watch that no. no. For me, I don't care how attractive they are. The I just want them hey, but <laughs> this rhythm. I love Asian drinks that they put like, I love the jelly drinks. I love the aloe that feels delicious. like it's something in your mouth. What? What? Mm. That's so good. You damn right I got some big cheeks, man. I built these myself. You hear that? That's his cheeks clapping underneath the table. Yep. Every time I put my jeans on, that shit is like a he got a jump to put it on. I got a jump. Oh. I got to make it clap a little bit. Well, I think I need to scoot in more. Even sweatpants, they're still difficult. Doesn't matter how much the band stretches, these cheeks are too fat. What the hell? I'm just kidding. They're not that big. <clears throat> All right, Anyways, we pop off? Back to... Back to what? Hey, Start, welcome. Start it no. up, man. He got shy. Yeah, you can't uh, be getting distracted welcome, by everything. Welcome back to UTI Under the Influence, the juiciest show on the internet. I am your host today. We are adapting a new format, testing it out. Um, the new format is one person comes with all the questions. We have no idea what he's going to bring up. Yeah. It's going to be a fun show for you guys today. So don't blame us if it sucks. Eddie, turn me up a little bit. I'll be a little, a little low. Don't. <laughs> Just be good. I'm at Anyways. the frame. Yeah, my, my name is Vit Trap, and today we have... Wotak, Kim. Jerome. Esther. Behind the camera, we have our token white man, Brandino. We have our token Latino. Our, our Latin king. Latin king. Our diversity Bad hire. bunny. <laughs> our diversity. <laughs> yeah, we checked all the boxes. No, we yeah. did. There's still some boxes to check, not gonna yeah. lie. And we are sponsored by Nectar Hard Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. You're gonna notice something on the table, but we're gonna talk about it later. Let's dive into the topics. We didn't really tell them what we're hey, 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 <laughs> yeah. we're not we're gonna do that mid mid episode now. Yeah, yeah. Just are we gonna so we get in the shout out the fan house first? No, no, no. Oh, no. Keep it rolling. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fifteen minutes in. Okay. Okay. Anyways, the first topic I have today is I want to talk about our. Uh, I've had a weird relationship with poop this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like I, li I like where this is started. <laughs> yeah. So last weekend we went to eat and we have deduced that. So Wu we'll Talk, Eddie and I had a just had a few days where where we were literally. Diarrhea, puking, Fight, squirt, squirting out your life. butt. Yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, butt. I didn't puke at all, but actually squirting. It was disgusting. Yeah, it was all like the a same hose. symptoms. And I was hose. telling him last night, I was getting so worried that I was getting sick again, and I was expecting like a fever, like a flu. And I was like, "Is my my week to host? If I tell them like, oh, we got to reschedule, they're gonna be in the in the back of your head. You're gonna be like, this motherfucker just doesn't have questions. Yeah. <laughs> I was stressing. We Wait, uh, 100%, wait. 100% that's what I would have thought. Hey, wait, so it was just squirt? No, no, they were puking, these I two. Puking. I had a fever for a day, and then I was like, uh, it was like a hose for like a day. I had a, I had a slight fever for maybe like 20 minutes. Normally, I'd be like food poisoning, but the fever thing throws me off. Well, food poisoning, you get a fever too, no? <clears throat> yeah, you do. I think so. Yeah, but, I don't know. Um, there was there was a there was a moment where I had diarrhea and I puked at the same time. Oh no! And it was the most disgusting. Your body I've, took a screenshot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. It was, bro. That's what it's called. I was I was on the toilet and I had to like grab reach over to my cabinet and I grabbed a plastic bag so I could puke while I was. This it was, is such a bad first topic. Question, I thought though. I thought you were gonna say you. Just puke through your legs or tried your best. <laughs> no, 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 no. It literally yeah. came out both ends. It okay, was... I think... Okay, so we all went to the same restaurant. Eddie, Vid, and Wu Talk got the same thing. And this is what happened to them. Thank yeah. God. We, I almost got it too, but I was like, nah, I'm going to eat something I think, else. I think it was bad pork. <laughs> yeah. So. The, the strange thing is that it hit you guys four days. Thursday, right? No, it no, me, no, it hit Two days after. Monday. Two days oh, after. Oh, yeah. What's, what's funny is that we all got hit by, like, the same time. I remember texting Wu Talk. I'm like, bro, I'm coming home. You need to take care of me. He's like, what are you feeling? I was like, I need to poo. And he's like, 
He's like, that's so crazy because I'm super <laughs> squirting out of my butt right now. <laughs> like, literally. It was like your periods were sinking. Yeah. Dude, it was crazy. And I fasted the day before, so I was like, why? how could I be having diarrhea? I literally haven't ate anything since that since that meal. And then, uh, but yeah, it was crazy. You know what's crazier? That they talk about shit like this, and if I ever say anything, they're like, ugh. Right, double standards. Because you're a girl. That's nasty. Ew. Don't talk Guess about what? That. Last week. No, I was kidding. No, I don't have any. Oh, you Ew. act like you poop. You don't poop. Yeah, girls there's no poop. way. Gross. Hey, pick a struggle, Unless man. this is a man. <laughs> yeah. You're not a man, are you? Either I can, I, either in my head, I can classify you as a man or a girl. Pick <laughs> pick your struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, also, last night, we went out, and then <laughs> leaving the club. Oh. Oh. Wait, why we, do we keep talking about poop, man? This is, hey, this is Whose episode week. is it? <laughs> <laughs> this man last week started off with Euthanasia. No, 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 last no, no, no. last week, last week was him. And we yeah, had to yeah, trim yeah. it. Uh, if you guys want that in the fan house, let us know. Oh, we yeah. didn't trim it. No, we, it's not in the episode. It is in the episode. I left that whole in there. Is no, it in not, the episode? It's not. It's not. No, it's not. Someone took it out. Everyone was cowardly. I don't. I wouldn't yeah. care. What's that was my section. It? I left that in there. Yeah, we should have kept it in. But anyways, um, last night leaving the club, walking back to the Uber, I uh, stepped in poop. And I had to throw my shoes Human away. Human shit. Oh, what were you wearing? I hate LA. White forces. <laughs> the white the one that you bought? White forces. white forces. Literally in the middle of the street. And I was so drunk, I was like, I have to make sure it's poop. I sniffed it. Uh. Bro, and you could tell it was human shit. Eddie uh. stepped in it too. What's funnier is that Vit stepped in it first and Eddie still stepped in it. <laughs> were you guys drunk out of your butt? No. No, well, I was pretty no, sober. I was pretty okay. Yeah. Is uh, it the Air Force, uh, Air Force uh, the one that you bought in Texas? Yeah. The new ones. So yeah. did you just toss them? I threw them. Then what were like, you? I literally took them off. Boom. I posted barefoot? the video in Fan House, actually. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. oh, I would have yeah. left them gently in the sh and see if someone's just like, oh, no, they decide whether or not, not they want free Air Forces. Honestly, it's pretty easy to clean. No. I oh, dog on not. the table. Hey, you stepped in it right after him? After you saw, like, what, how did, how'd that go? He, he stepped in something and then he was just like, ew, what the and then I, at that moment, was already stepping on it. Oh. And I, and I felt like I was like, that did feel weird. That didn't feel like, like, normal. Bro, it was a pile of human shit. Yeah. Some, some human being on this busy street just pulled his pants down, took a shit. It was a huge one, like a big pile. Like it was like a, like it looked like an emoji, man. It was like a swirly. <laughs> it looked like an ice cream cone. Uh, as soon as you stepped on it, it's like there's like crust, you know. So it's oh. like you feel. Texture, yeah, you know, slide like, out out a little like bit. a bagel where the outside's hard and the inside's yeah. soft, and you crack it open, yeah. like, just like that. Yep. Also, also when it's big enough and you step in the pile, you slide a bit. Yeah, I slid. Like, you, you don't even get to the concrete. I slid. Uh, it was this disgusting. Uh, yeah, I on. hate LA. Hey, it's moving so, on though. It was very smelly. While we're on the subject of poop. Oh my god. Okay. More poop? No. Oh. But something related to poop. Um, I have a, I have a nice. Oh, I thought you were trying to look at my questions. Oh. I have a nice exercise to get the brain going. Okay. Try to come up with uh, the best. Well, first, just try to come up with like the best slang for a uh, for a butt, like a woman's a butt. butt. Like bunda. if you see, a, if, yeah, bunda's nice. Bunda. Uh, Peach. Uh, cheeks. Cheeks is nice. I like bunda. I'm gonna go bunda. Final answer. Turd cutter. What? Huh? Oh, you're wilding. That's so old, man. I was man. just thinking poop. On the you got one? You got one? Ongdongi. That's not slang. No Korean, Cakes. man. Cakes. Cakes. I, Cakes is nice. Peaches. Peaches. Oh, peaches is pretty nice. All right. Cakes. Yams. Yams, Yams. is good. Yams is good. What else is there? Uh, Are we just listing all of them? Yeah. Yeah, let's just keep going. Um, Lower back. Badonka donk. <laughs> Badonk. Wait, you know, I used to have a friend that had no. <laughs> And we would call him Chief Long Longback. <laughs> wow. That's what Nick calls Sean. He says, "Nah, bro, your back is too long for that, man. You don't got no." Like nothing. It just kept going. Have you was seen it a girl or a guy? A guy. Oh, okay, that's okay then. Have yeah. you seen the meme where they're like, "You said LMAO too much." <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen oh. that. Oh. Laughing my it. ass oh, off. Yeah. <laughs> Where's this exercise going? Yeah, man. What's the point of this exercise? Going, man. Oh, it's just like oh, a so we're done game. and it led nowhere. Yes, yeah. I'm more awake now. What about? Um, I already hate his episode. What about my food? Here. And he's like, "All right, pause the oh, show. My, my food? food's here." Oh, that's Fitz. No, no, no. Continue the show, man. Ignore your food. Yeah. Okay. Leave the food away from him. Can I get the drink at least? 
Give him the drink, but no, put the food away. Just pa pass him the drink. Yeah, let me get the mogu mogu. Thank you. That looks pretty delicious. What do you, what do you, you want to try it? Yes. Yeah, I would like to try that. It's like too. little lychee pieces. Yeah, in no, it. put that. Put that down. Little jello. Put that down. Oh, I forgot. Thank you, I love Esther. I love Asian drinks that they put like. I love the jelly drinks. I love the aloe. Yeah, that stuff. That delicious. feels like it's something's in your mouth. What? Uh -huh. What? what? Mm. That's so good. Usually these are all sugar bombs, though. It definitely is. Yeah. What what oh, state so what state do you guys think has like the biggest ass? <laughs> the state do I think has the biggest ass? Mm -hmm. Oh, in, in America? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna say Miami. somewhere where they, no, somewhere where they eat well. So I'm like gonna Texas. say Miami. Texas? Yeah. Mm, I'm sticking with Miami. I mean real ass or fake? Doesn't because matter. in Miami, just, just, I don't know. Just per volume. Mass. I was gonna say I think Miami has more BBLs. Oh, I don't care. No, 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 no. It's gotta be naturally big, because that's like Everything is at, bigger well, in Texas. Well, how the f would you know, man? Some BBLs are really good. No, you can kind of tell. You know why? Because everyone, I mean, not everyone, but a lot of people with like BBLs, they something about their waist, it like their, their abs, it's mm. just straight. Just straight. Yeah, and love, then it I just goes BBLs, boom. Man, Have you lie. experienced a BBL? Many BBLs. Really? Yeah. I've never. I mean, loved, it looks nice, loved, loved but BBLs. I'm just saying. You love them. Love them. Do they feel the same? They feel great. Because it's fat transfer. It's not like oh, silicone. Oh, it's not like. Yeah. Interesting. How do you guys feel about like, like just like extremely overdone BBLs though? Great. Not, not a fan. That sh looks like a bug's life. That sh is weird to me. Yeah. It looks like they're like especially because it gets cellulite. -y, it looks like they just have a heavy diaper. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. I was kidding by the way. Overdone BBLs are not the way. You wave. know uh, oh. that that Squidward when he ate too many Krabby Patties. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I see. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of people that are actually built like that naturally. I've seen a lot of. <laughs> Really? The Squidward Krabby Patty build? You've Squidward. never seen that shit? It's the, uh, it's like the middle-aged white teacher. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's okay. Uh, you ever see the guy that impersonates the, the middle school principal and he's like walking? Oh, he's walking? And then the beeping noises keep going on? Like yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. I miss yes. Oh. What's, I what season of SpongeBob? I'm only on season two. <laughs> I'm really I'm reliving my childhood, so I've never seen SpongeBob. I didn't even know SpongeBob? that it was broken down by seasons. Yeah, yeah. They, they do have seasons. SpongeBob. Oh. Is is SpongeBob still coming out with episodes? I think uh, so. Yeah, in uh, on Amazon. Really? Mm-hmm. Kind of crazy. SpongeBob be hidden. You had a reason for the biggest. Ass. No, he was talking about it, and then He's it went to and then. He's a podcast, just like discuss. Thank you for watching. No, scared. Right. <laughs> we're, e we're, we're easing into into the deeper questions, He's man. He's warming you up a little no, bit, no, man. No, I'm grilling him. I'm yeah. making sure. Dude, I don't even want to do this question thing because we'll talk about you. Sorry, I'm grading everyone. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't even want to host anymore. C minus so far. <laughs> Dude, I started studying like last week for Good. this because this I'm, scared. Start, I'm, yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared. This is the start of you guys making something of yourself. It's the first time Studying I used what? my laptop. Hey, Studied this... the freaking questions because I'm like, I know for a fact that if I come up with something, they're going to roast the shit. Hey. We roast you regardless hey, though. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Harder. This is a star pupil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, That's... I'm not worried about your thing at all. Actually, I was never worried about you. It was, be... It 50, was him. 50 relationship questions. That's, That's, That's the topic. You think you could actually, so you know how there's people on, um, TikTok where they're like, this is before and after of like working out and then they built their own. Do you think how much of that is just like they didn't diet and you get genetics versus like you can actually do exercises to build a big ass? I'd say it's like 30% genetics, 70% work. You can build it. Yeah, seriously. everyone can build so it. Saying that I think like, so. Like I've worked out pretty heavily and I it, it shapes a certain way, but I can't like if I was a girl, I couldn't build you, like you don't a have childbearing peach. hips, bro. I've seen girls that are skinnier than me. Also, every man can build it. You don't really work out that hard. You don't work out for hypertrophy. Yeah, but you think you could build like a like yes. shape the butt so it looked like 100%, a nice. One hundred percent, man. Do you think you're like mostly fat or muscle? Mine is muscle. Mine is muscle I have okay. no sure. ass at all. Really? Until I started working out. Okay, yeah. so you were chief long back. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> and now I'm chief cupcake. That's what they call me back home. <laughs> you got a little chief. Dumb trust and baked by Melissa's here. <laughs> Yo, Dumpy is also a good one. Oh, oh dump Dumpy. I don't like Dumpy. Dumpy is weird, It sounds weird, like Dump, because Dump yeah. is poop, yeah, and then yeah. Dump, dump is Wagon is, too, wagon is also wagon. a good one. Wagon. There we wagon. go. Wagon is a good one. Stand up. Let's see your wagon. And then you got to pull No, fan house. Fan house. Fan yeah. house. You got to yeah, pay yeah, for we'll, that. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. cut it right in. And no, it's just a, a fan house banner blocking yeah, yeah. it out. Stand up. Hey, but you got to pull your Aladdin pants Let tight. Just, I'll just get naked. Hey, motherfucker. 
I got genie pants on right now. You don't like my pants. Hey, nah, I like them. I like them. Show you all my pants. I think they're fire. No, you're gonna fall. Oh yeah. Oh this... my god. You guys like my pants? Okay, turn around now. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? My, my thumb just accidentally went up his butt. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, he moaned. He went, oh. You just broke something, man. It's okay. We're gonna pretend like nothing broke. How was last night though? What'd you guys do? Oh. You wanna discuss it before I start trash talking lock and key? Oh. Don't trash talk lock and key. I will. <laughs> no. I fucking hate Moving that place, on. man. Skip that. Yeah. And Skip they have that. a hot they have a hot bottle girl there, and every time I come, I right. apparently I ask her if she has a boyfriend. Is it the, the white is it the white girl? No, no. no. Okay, because I remember there was one girl that you were just like, yeah, she she's was a, she was watches a white. the show, honestly. Yeah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Does she hey. have a boyfriend? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Samantha, stick with your boyfriend if you're yeah. watching this. Hey, <laughs> and her last, boyfriend. Don't last, don't mind him. Yeah, yeah, this guy last, does this to Last everybody. time I came out, apparently I asked. Yes, every time we go. He, he forgets. And then he forgets. Yeah. Bro, but I'm saying she's like very pretty. She's very pretty. Very pretty. Hey, if you're ever single, I'm respectful. I won't, <laughs> I won't say anything yet. I won't say anything right now. Yeah. You just said All so. I said was she was pretty. I'm giving, no. her, I'm giving her her flowers while she's still alive. <laughs> That was like low key dark. It felt like, well, like well, didn't mean like, it. Wow, she's still alive. No, did, did not mean it to be dark. You guys are being weird. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. Best looking woman by state. Wait, did we settle on? No, no, we didn't settle oh, on. Wait, everyone state. just pick one answer. What, what's your I answer mean, for the big I would big say butt? Texas because everything is bigger in Texas. What about you? I, she took my answer. She played no, right. Miami, Florida, Florida. Florida. Oh, you were going to say Texas too? We can't all pick the same. I'll say I don't it. think it's Texas. I don't think that's I true. I think it's Miami. I think it's easily Florida by far. Is that Do you know the like actual you, answer you or no? Because answer. I'm going to start looking it up. No, I How the fuck would they measure that? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, if there was an what, answer written? What would, you, like, what, what would you type into Google to figure this out right now? Biggest butts in the states. Yeah, biggest states by biggest butt. Biggest butt by state. What U.S. state has the biggest butt? Let me see. Reddit. We here in Pennsylvania have large asses. <laughs> Even the Get dudes. Get the fuck out of here. Someone said nope. moving to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania always trying to be included in shit. No, they got the they got the principal build in Pennsylvania. Ooh, okay. So it's big but not shapely. Yeah, you know? yeah. I Where is Pennsylvania? They said Mississippi has the highest rate of obesity oh, in both children and adults. Oh, that's not the type of we're talking about. Oh, we're about. talking about like nice? Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about nice. Okay, okay. Like, all right, then it's I'm in the wrong does. question. Because I also was going to be like, you could just measure it by how many big and talls are in every... State. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got zero? Nah, we're talking about like bundas, like it has okay, to then be Florida. It, Miami. It has to Miami be Florida. Then. Wow. Florida. Even if it wasn't BBLs, like just the amount of like Latina women that are there, like what there's no mean? Asians. That's why their we're per capita ass <laughs> goes up because we were we removed the the fucking stragglers yeah, out that the ruined equation. The average. Yeah. That's why California's so low because there's so many of us. Yeah. Freaking paperback yeah, over here. Are you talking about states with the biggest butts? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you guys say Wisconsin? Wisconsin's nope. a sleeper because it's all dairy there. Oh, true. I promise not, you. Not the right sleeper, kind of sleeper ass. Sleeper state. Oh, oh, it's a specific type. Yeah, yeah, we're looking we're for We're talking shapely. about the nice ones. Nice ones. Wait, all not just, are Not nice, just obesity. <laughs> to you. <laughs> I don't mean that. Oh. I'm picky. Okay. I don't believe that. I agree with Florida just because of Miami. Florida. Yeah. That's what I said. But did you right. know Miami doesn't claim Florida? What, what does that mean? <laughs> People that live in claim. Miami don't claim Florida. They say they don't live in Florida. They yeah, say, yeah. The, the big facts. Oh, actually, I have heard that. Why? 
Because it's like Miami is like party party uh, city, and then uh, Florida Miami's is very like different it, it, from the rest of Florida. Like crackhead, like yeah, a little weird. <laughs> a lot of ba- a lot of weird, unusual For, things. Florida happen white there. people are a specific type. They're not even like the rest of the South. They're like very specific, weird. Yeah. That's who people. we should send to wars. Honestly, <laughs> like they don't die. Yeah, they're zombies. They're Do you guys strange. remember that trend on Florida Twitter? Man. Huh? The Florida man. Well, yes, but um. Where people used to look up their birthdays and then type in like Florida headlines. Oh yeah, yeah, Florida man. <laughs> yeah, on you that type day. in your Florida yeah, yeah. man on your birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was that's, that's a real nice. thing? That was yeah, a trend, yeah, yeah. and Super it would funny. be the craziest. Every single time, it'd be Every crazy. Day. It would be some ridiculous. Nobody made headline. it up. It's an actual thing in it was Florida. A trend. That's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really Screenshots so of like head. Wait, head try to Google your just while we're talking. Yeah, Google your one. birthday, Florida man, right now. Well, we gotta talk, man. We can't all be googling. I'll type it. What do you? What date you want? August 21st, 1995, Florida man. The birthday's coming up. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is indeed. Are you still trying to plan it yourself? No, because we'll, uh, we'll be doing all the UTI mm. stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are we going to drop that today or no? Okay. We nah. can, but we're still locking yeah. in the dates. We, can tell, we might as well tell people texting now. Collect all the Florida data. Florida man hit dad in face with pizza after learning he helped deliver him. This is why I was always doomed to have daddy issues. Dude, there's no way that's real. It's so wild. Like, there's also a news station in Florida reporting these crimes. Like, oh, just low key, you're bored. Why did that? Why did that make the news? <laughs> yeah. The oh, fuck. Hey, uh, look up February twentieth, nineteen ninety one. Mine Florida is man. boring, y'all. Florida man caught while stealing mail from mailbox and attacked to homeowner. Yeah, yeah that's pretty boring. boring. Yeah, actually, these are lame. Uh, <laughs> what the. <laughs> Okay, hold on. It's loading. I want to see what Brando's is. I bet Brando's is weird. It's him. (laughs) He's his own Florida man. Antichrist was born in Chicago. (laughs) He claims Florida, Florida too. Okay, so this this was an argument over beer. Florida man attacks gas station clerk with hot dogs and a corn dog stick. That's oh. Jeremy's birthday? Yeah. Dude, corn dogs sound so good right now. I love Korean corn dogs. I want to. Oh, sh- I want to go to Tucson. He, sta- I wanna, he I stabbed her with the right corn now. dog. Oh, damn. Using the fucking stick. The stick. Did we order that Indian that. food? You ordered yeah. it? Yeah, it's oh, on the way. I've only had Korean oh, corn dogs check? one time. I did not like it. When we went with Sage? Sage. Remember, remember, remember when, when you we filmed went? that goofy ass video of going down the escalator? Oh, I need to use that. I'm going to use that as a I Oh, I didn't eat. Yeah, I forgot we filmed that. Yeah, that was yeah, my I'm favorite video of you guys, actually. That was, that was really hilarious. Fun. That, was, yeah. that was hilarious. That was a good ass video. Yeah. yeah. Why did you not? You back. did use it in something. No, I didn't. You didn't? I have it. Oh. I could have sworn you posted it. No, I'm gonna use oh, it. Oh, maybe we just watched it after. Back when Sage would hang out with us any chance he got, and yeah. now we never see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, what's what's next? Oh yeah, so you said biggest butts. We all agreed on Florida wins, I guess. So uh-huh. what's next? You said another one. Oh, hottest women, right? What's the prettiest woman by state? I'm gonna give it to California, right, now, New York. Let's not do only women. What's what the a, hell? I'm here in California. What the hell? Why are you switching up all of a sudden, man? Oh, you got oh, <laughs> trying to you know cater everybody's feelings. <laughs> mm, okay. What's the prettiest? Uh, not only women, but like people by state. Oh, so men too. Mm-hmm. Well, it has to be California because California. This year. Oh. Oh, I uh, he. Yeah, huh? you guys don't ever compliment the woman of. What. I, I'm still confused. I don't look at women. Yeah, I'm still confused if you want me to treat you like a man or a woman, man. Yeah. I said I don't shit. Can, so can we? Can I get the respect you I sound, deserve? You sound like you lying, honestly. Because <laughs> nah, honestly, I, I'm gonna say California for real though, because California has the most diverse one. It's like, uh, is it the most populated state? Yeah, pretty sure it is the most populated yes. state. Yes. It's like California? 57 yes. million, I think. It's, yeah, really? Yeah, it's the most populated state. It's got the most. It's got the range of everything, right? Oh, keep sun, and the, yeah, and then the sun's always just beautiful weather. I don't know. I've been oh, to a hell of states, up. and California takes the cake. It's every only time. forty million. It used to be more. I don't know. But does anybody disagree that California doesn't have the? Does anyone have a better state than California per capita? It's yeah, California. I was Best New looking York. people. But Hell I was saying, no. I was saying New York. York I was saying you leave New York City. Ethnicities. Yeah. Also, you leave mel- New York City has pot. good looking people, but one still not as good looking as California because of the fact that Hollywood exists here. It attracts people whose profession is based around being attractive. But, yeah, New York has like that's no, where man. literally go. that's like no man. The, it's, the industry you is could so be small. ugly and be in right. Hollywood. You, you go that's to, why you would make it. Wait, I did see I did see a really pretty girl in New York. You You saw one really pretty girl in New York. I was. It it was a mirror. No, no, (laughs) no. Listen, man, you go. You. I was like, what the fuck? I. 
I knew it. Uh, she's walking. She she stops like stunned, and we're all like, "What's wrong?" And she's looking in the mirror, tears rolling down her eyes. <laughs> she's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm perfect. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That was a joke. Oh, I didn't find that funny. I write letters that to hurt myself. My feelings. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's okay. I was just kidding. Um, what were we talking about? Most beautiful. Oh, okay, you go to the you go to the bar in fucking New York. You talk to people. They're like finance dudes. They're not that good. Look. Like it's the per capita is not really that. Hot. I'm not gonna. I'm what gonna about be Miami though? Miami is also just Miami. Everywhere else in the state, it's I've, been to, I've yeah. been to Tampa. I've been to fucking Panama City Beach. Busted. It's just Miami. It's literally yeah, just but in Miami. California. If you go to if LA, you go to, no. If you, you go, go to, to San Diego, Diego, hot. If you go to SF, it's dudes. SF, yeah, yeah, it's weird. all tech yeah. dudes. But the uh, the other parts of the Bay, I don't know. Nah, the other parts of the Bay, mm. Santa Barbara. You're saying that they're not hot out there. Mm. Inland Empire. I guess the beach. You OC. Think, you everyone in OC is pretty attractive. The beach attracts attractive people. One hundred percent. Because so you're gonna Miami be in a swimsuit. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be, so you gotta be fit gotta to be, be fit. A, to Miami, live on the beach. You Miami be has fit. beaches. Yeah, but the, I'm telling you right now, man. The other Florida cities, they're they're busted. They're just not that attractive. I mean, it would have to be like California or like New York, because that's where all the models are at. That's where the attractive that's jobs. Hey, are but at. let's say take California, New York, Florida out of it. Pick another state. <laughs> Utah, what? A hey, low key. Utah. No. Oh, there's, there's. A I lot have of... the answer. Arizona. Arizona. Oh. If you like I that, agree. if you like that breed, though, right? Yeah, yeah low key. Breed. I guess breed is crazy. Breed is crazy. Maybe we uh, hey, we don't we don't align with Jeremy's <laughs> values. <laughs> Neither do Brando aligns with me. <laughs> Come over here, brother. Arizona, <laughs> hey, Arizona does have some pretty people, though. Arizona has a lot of IG models for some mm -hmm. reason. Hot for weather. Some, hot weather. Warm weather. Arizona's like... It's because Devin Booker's out there. They're all trying to bang <laughs> Devin Booker. <laughs> what, about, what about men? Yeah. I'm demisexual. What the hell? God, dude, this is why Actually, we need yeah. a, another woman co-host, We need a man. different one. Hey, this we're, one's broken. All right, we're we're holding real. open tryouts, man. Hey, you got you got to defeat Esther in one on one combat, and then yeah, that's you, not happening. <laughs> you're here to stay. I didn't say kick her off. I said we just need to add another one. Yeah, you have to be stronger than us. God. Um, oh, that'd be funny to get on the show. If you beat Esther, then you become the fifth. No. No, be funny. Be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the state, it's gotta right? be like a roast battle or something. A roast battle. Why do you always want people to hurt my feelings? No, I'm not hurt not your you. feelings. Not no, you we, guys we, roasting somebody else yeah, we in a, roast a competition. Them. Who's funnier than you? Who's funnier? I'll still beat them. They gotta withstand a roast. Hey, thing. audience members, um, give some suggestions on who you think would mesh with us, woman wise. Woman wise. We need to find Esther a friend. Somebody that Vit won't hit on. That too, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't hit on anybody anymore. It's such a lie. You just hit on the girl last night in Lock and Key. Look at his face. <laughs> Wait, I didn't what, hit on her. What why? is it? Oh, that's not hitting on her. I that's, that's, she hitting had a on, that's hitting on. That's hitting on. She stopped me before I could hit on her. Oh, that's a good. That's a good. Okay, so what constitutes getting hit on? I mean, that is getting hit on. Asking mm. if you have a girlfriend or yeah. boyfriend is hitting on someone. Yes, yes, it, is. yes, yes, yes. it is. Yes, it is. Yes, I think that's three. You're three about little, to hit three on three against one, man. Yeah, I'm a, exactly. What'd you just say? I'm about to. Start no, no. Okay, on but you're. What the only reason you would ask the question is to hit on. That's your intention. Kind of getting swayed. Hitting on is like you're like if, if you're just asking and then you go oh no never mind you, you right it's like pre cum man would you, you fucking hit, would you, hit on the right, person would you if you came home to your significant other would you say oh this person asked me if I had a girlfriend or would you say this person hit on this me? person hit on me no and taking your example if you pre cum you didn't nut okay wait 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 okay there was nut that was delivered into there I understand what Vit's saying because okay. So it's the intention behind it. I could ask a guy like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? Because I'm trying to hook him up with somebody. That's, you know what I mean? That's the intention. But then if I was to be like, oh. It's hitting do you, on. Do you have a but girlfriend? But I can lie about my intentions. Yeah, but yeah. But do you have a girlfriend because I think this person is cute? Then that is hitting I was on. actually asking her if she had a boyfriend so that I could hook her and we'll talk up. Wow, this guy. Such what a, a man. great friend, man. Trying to be a good what wingman. A good yeah, look at you friend, flaming him. Why do yeah. I not Apologize. believe this? Just being a bad guy. <laughs> Just over here being a bad person. I don't think it's hitting on them. Right? Because like, if you go up to someone and say, are you hungry? That doesn't mean you're going to cook for them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so huh? different to me. That's so different. That's so different. Because so so yeah. yeah. even so if the different. intention was to hook them up with somebody else, you are hitting on them for someone else. You are, it's like, what is the definition of hitting on? Mm. Jamie? 
What? Oh, oh. What, what's the <laughs> definition of hitting take, on? It's taking oh, interest. Google definition. Yeah, yeah, trying to slide, right? So either you're sliding or you're sliding for someone else. But the only reason you ask that question is to see, are you available to slide on? So it's the first step in sliding. So it is part oh, of the part slide of process. Hitting. I've been swayed. I'm saying it's a part of the process. But so, it's, so, it's, so you're so hitting on someone if you ask that question. I would not question. say I was hitting on her, though. You're not like really, you're not strongly hitting on her. You didn't make I a have, lot of moves, yeah, but I you hit on her. I have different classifications. No, man, you're just trying that's to justify just like, yourself. That's like knocking on a door. You didn't open the door. No, she opened the door to tell you to fucking fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, but my but, action but, was knocking on the yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But hitting on, you continue to knock on the door. You just knocked on it once and then realized, ah, maybe I don't want to knock yeah, on it. Yeah, that's because I couldn't remember her. Knock, knock on it longer. Exactly. If she was like, oh, that's cute, you would have kept going. You yep. would have kept hitting on her. Yeah, that's when the hitting on starts. Nah, man. No. That's, that's when awesome. I go tell my homies, like, oh, I hit on her. We're not going to sway him, but we're right. We're right. I, I think I think that's hitting on. Yeah, that's hitting that's on. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're all crazy. <laughs> you guys are all acting crazy. Now he's going right to start now. counting on how many people he's he's hit on, according to our Tw- definition. 12 a day. <laughs> but like, oh, he'll come on here and say, like, I haven't hit on someone in, in months. And then he just creates a new definition of hitting <laughs> yeah. on so he can say that. Is asking, some, is asking someone for their number hitting on them? Oh, yeah. That's absolutely. So then asking them if they have, like, a significant other, right? Exactly. You're like, is that kind of in that it's the same zone. Shit, I'm telling man. you the intention. intention. It's yes. the intention. We said it at the same time. Okay, well, do you want to get like with like this. Now Stop or what? flirting. A vegetable on three. One, two, three. Ah! Carrot. Oh, I couldn't hear. What did you guys say? I said carrot. Carrot. You, you guys, guys like carrot? carrot? Yeah. yeah. I'm one, telling you. Right now. One, two, three. Ready? Vegetable. Okay. Hold on. Let me pick one. You can't <laughs> okay. do carrot. Ready? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah. King. Ow. Did I hit? Did my ring hit you? Yeah. Oh. Jeremy, let's. Wait, wait. Let's, let's see them do it. <laughs> hey, hey, quick. Brando, pick up your mic. The, the two producers. A uh, vegetable, and you can't say carrot or broccoli. On three, say Wait, a vegetable. Look the, into each the other's two eyes. Two of us are going to say it? Yeah, you're going to say, when I count down, one, two, three, you're going to say a vegetable, random vegetable, and it has to be the same vegetable. He, they said carrot, they got it. We said broccoli, we got it. So it's your turn. Okay. Vegetable, ready? One, two, three. Aubergine. Aubergine. What? Whoa. Wait, what did you say? We did it? What the was it? The correct word for what? eggplant. What did you say? Wait, you guys. Aubergine. You did not oh both just say that shit. That's so fucking crazy. Oh you did my not God. just. Do a fruit. Do a fruit. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. No, no, no. Do we not realize no, how no, crazy no. that is? Yo. What just happened? They said We're aubergine. Going out on top. That was crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, there's I was no trying way. to joke around, too. They're both just thinking about their eggplants. Yo, no, wait. That's his ESP popping in, bro. Oh! Finally worked. You know, I sent him a. So, you guys Whoa. know what remote viewing is? Yeah. I sent them a tutorial on how to remote view because I feel like Brando could do it. I was like, you should try this. Just What's ignored me. <laughs> uh, Dude, I listened to the TikTok. It was, was so a great story. long. You, uh, remote viewing is like a form of astral projection where in your dream, you leave your body and you can go around and explore this reality like a fucking, like you're a ghost flying through the air and shit. Oh, okay. So some people, so the, uh, this was actually on the CIA website. Yeah. They, they did a project where they tried to find like... Uh, People that had like telekinesis or could do that yeah. kind of project. ESP. So that they could see if they could go spy on people, find lost people. And they right? could. You could use their powers. So it's inconclusive, but they did not find enough ed- evidence to say that it's not true. They said, <laughs> it's conclusive, man. Yeah, no, no. They, they could. It's conclusive, so, so, man. So they literally have passed the project. They're still working on it today, and they're saying it's possible, but they can't. It, there's no consistency with the certain people. We've, we've lost, we as a society have lost the knowledge of how to teach people how to do this, but the, the, t- <laughs> the upper echelons of our society are, are hoarding it for hey, themselves. CIA is crazy. Yeah, we talk will come on here sometimes and tell us facts and I'll go Google them later and they're just like, Kind of like kind of off. No, no, no. That's because you're not. That's because you're not looking deep enough. You're looking. <laughs> you realized a hundred episodes. Google. In. <laughs> yeah. Google. You're gonna use. You're gonna trust no, Google. No, no, no. You can <laughs> fucking easily manipulate Google. All right, I'll give you one Je- example. Jeremy, Jeremy would be like, CBS said no. Yeah. He'll be like, Fox News said that. That's hey, not possible. Hey, I'll give you one example. Wu Tang, where he got it from is like the Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's hey, like I'll fucking. It's way worse. It's example? deeper than I'll that. I'll give you one example. Uh-huh. CERN. I uh-huh. went on every. I went on Reddit. I went on every site possible to find the original website that uh-huh. says they're opening up portals to the dark. Because you guys Bro, said the homepage. They, they, you can literally fucking find it. They're fucking manipulating matter to to, to explore exactly. dimensions. So, I know, but the way you guys said on their homepage is like we open up portals to other you dimensions. Guys. That has never been a screenshot. Like people that are also are on the CERN conspiracy. Uh, okay, okay. Don't say that either. Well, the, uh, me saying it like that, I agree. That's way too blatant. But. 
We are manipulating matter I, I, I to, don't disagree. to explore I don't disagree. dimensions. I don't disagree. That's like I'm almost not disagree where, with you. I'm not they, they mentioned that they are trying to explore dimensions. They're literally colliding atoms together. Yeah, I don't disagree and they with fucking, you. I don't they disagree fucking with worship you. weird pagan gods I don't disagree in public. Hey, I, don't disagree. I have a question. Um, I was just saying this, the fact this, wasn't correct. Is this Vitz episode or your guys' episode? Oh, no. <laughs> <Keep doing it. laughs> no, no, no. This is good for him. Vitz got two more questions left. I saw the shit. I saw his sheet. I saw there his was eyes. no scrolling. He kept scrolling and there was only three blocks at the top. His eyes lit up when I said, I got a question. He said, <laughs> Jeremy, if we it's get this be right. be a good host. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. They're on a roll. They said aubergine. Yeah, we what? have to keep now, going. Now you got to do a flip. Damn, y'all disrupted the flow though. Sorry. Yeah, first of all, you guys are looking at fucking Google first page results. No wonder you're not getting any real information. <laughs> No, Goofy. Didn't, what did we deny? You were yelling at them and they didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, actually not you. He was on your side and he didn't say anything. <laughs> we didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. You. <laughs> wait, what happened? I'm racist. I just immediately he deflected was yelling to at them. them. Hey, but, but remote viewing, the thing that made me think of... Was it you that sent me that uh, Instagram? There's a guy that can Google map locations. He could look at an image oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and find him anywhere oh, on Google Maps. It's a, lo- it's a superpower. It's a I superpower. was binging crazy. his videos. Yeah, he's crazy. Crazy. I've seen that. Bro, there, there, I think it was a TED Talk, but there was a guy who was a part of the CIA experiments. And he was like, bro, they would put me in a room, like a sensory deprivation room, basically, and give him like a piece of paper. And he would draw. Like they, I forget the parameters they would give him, and he would start drawing. He drew like a fucking military base somewhere with like, and what's weird was the way he drew it, when they found the place, they were like, this the, this building doesn't exist. They were like, it's like kind of it, but slightly off. And then they, re- they found a fucking blueprint of that same base from like 1950, and that's what it was. Whoa. So it was like not linear to time what he was viewing either. Wow. So that was fucking crazy. But uh, but yeah, that it's it's not it's not a very study, or at least what, the information about what they studied is not very out there. Isn't that what Eleven had as her power? Yeah, Eleven has a lot of those powers. That's what, Eleven's powers are just basically really fucking dramatized versions of things that ESPs uh, can do in real life. Do you guys know this guy I'm talking about, the Google Maps guy? I wonder if on you TikTok. could do some. Let's train TikTok. this man. If, know, he, if the, he had proper training, he could. If he if he's able to do the shit guy like who, that. yeah, I know the guy. I watch him sometimes, dude. But he so, battles another guy that's even better. Oh, yeah. Really, send There's me the better guy. guy that's better. How do you videos. know that he's not talking about the better guy then? If they do the same thing, because the better guy doesn't uh, have like a TikTok. Uh, you see this guy battling him, and he loses just like barely by dude, like mm. like a mile. Damn. The guy does this thing. He does this trick where he's like stare at a photo for half Point a second. second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like flashes, and he goes okay. And then he pops up the photo it's and nuts. matches it. How do you what do that? I don't know. It's superpower. I don't Dude, even know how to get to my no. house after here. <laughs> I mean, I, I personally think it's a form of autism because there there's artists who are autistic who can uh, like fly over a city mm-hmm. and then they can redraw the whole layout of the city yeah, yeah, like yeah. pretty accurately. But, but what is it about... So the part... like uh, When people are autistic and they can do crazy shit like that, it's like a part of their brain shuts down and another part is basically just use more low key, right? Cause like autism is like a social thing, right? So like you like lose this like social ability, but then you're able to like do that shit. So that's uh, what I feel well, like ESP is. I don't is. think, I don't think autism is like necessarily social. It's, I think you're thinking of Asperger's. Well, like the lower <laughs> forms of autism. I, I don't know too much about it, but. Okay. Uh, the, let's say, why? I know I'm gonna be careful. Let's say superpowers. But then you lose like social skills. You get like like let's let's say somebody like uh, who's like, who's who's that like. You would be like really insociable. You can't get along with people. You'd feel lonely, right? Scrooge. But you would have superpowers. Which ones? What superpowers? Let's say you could like read minds. You could remote view. You could. If I could re- read minds, I'd be good at social situations. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But that's the peak. But then, or if you want, like you lose them. They get weaker. You become Brando. Like Brando is the middle. Brando's actually more over here. He's not nah, very nah, sociable. Nah, Brando's. Nah, Brando's powers are not strong enough. I wouldn't trade that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd be more. Brando's, Brand, more yeah, like Brando's this way. over here. But then it's like it's here. Here's you, Brando. And then like whatever. And then uh-huh. you could be like a superpower. No, a superhuman. But no. I think For life is lonely yes, yeah. without like. You know. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about those superpowers. Social. Also, I think that the other end of the spectrum, there are powers over here too. There's like the power of manipulation and and like oh if you take it far enough yeah like yeah. what your what you output is now your power you know what I'm saying like the the like dark- the, the ESP power like that comes over here one not everyone has to trade their social ability for it 
that guy that was giving that TED talk was like a normal human being could talk normal and shit. It's not everybody that uh, who could, it's I not mean, like a one in one trade. No, is no, what no. I'm if saying. he could talk normal though, but who knows what he's like? Like no, I, absolutely. Wise. But I don't think that maybe it is. I'm not educated enough. There's not enough information on the subject, but. I don't think it's a one in one trade. Like as your social ability depletes, your ESP goes up. Like I think that's just an example of like I think it is like it could be because of the the way that these like um the what what are they called? Savants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to joke that I have autism and it makes me more funny. Because I am <laughs> You don't you do not have autism, man. I'm unnaturally funny. <laughs> unnaturally he said that's my and, superpower. And he's also unnaturally cocky. Yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah. I'm just absurdly funny in any situation. I don't think it's unnaturally. I feel like you could easily see why he's that cocky. What? Why he's that cocky. I burped in the middle of my word. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the ESP power is interesting. <laughs> hey, we never made them. Esther roast me and then immediately just like, sorry face. Like, it's so funny. Stick to your roast, man. I wasn't sorry. Double down. I was laughing at my own joke. Okay. Even worse, when should have stuck to When Brando story. comes back, we need to see if they can repeat it. Or else oh, it's just lucky bro. chance. Aubergine is crazy. Aubergine is crazy. How do you Aubergine. even know that word? You said that's the, what is that? What is it? Original? What Who? happened to your mic, man? Wait, let's do us. We give you a mic hey, for what? I'm going to run back the tape and see if they like glanced at each other. And if if Brando was reading his word, his yeah. lips or some shit. Let's do us. There's, There's no the way. Time. Aubergine hey, is Hey, let's hit it one more time for you guys. Fruit. Fruit. We've done this many times on this show, by the way. Wait, wait, not fruit. We got to pick something different. No, no, fruit. No, 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 no. What's something you guys both know? Like car, car brand? Dinosaurs. 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 I said it first. You don't know the ones I know. <laughs> <laughs> just go with it. She so said they like just dropped friend. some new ones recently. Go and, uh, <laughs> they did. I downloaded that patch. <laughs> oh. All, All right. right. Well, pick one that you think he would know then. Right. Okay. One, two, three. Stegosaurus. <laughs> You said Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus. <laughs> T-Rex is the most obvious one, bro. Yeah, hey, uh, us two. Ready? We can't say either dinosaurs? of those. Dinosaurs? Yeah, dinosaurs. Wait, wait. I need to think of dinosaurs. I said my favorite I'm was T-Rex. I'm thinking of it. I'm transmitting it to you. I don't remember any of the names. It's like a smell. You could smell it off my brain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. I like got it? it? Mm -hmm. Yo, you ready? 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 Somebody count. Somebody count. Somebody That's count. Hey! Oh. Sorry. Somebody count. Uno, dos, tres. Velociraptor. Oh. What were you saying? <laughs> he said Balut. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? I said Bronchiosaurus. Uh -oh. Hey, okay, okay. Yeah, finish it. Hey, sit, hey, sit not back a down. You two got to try. That was yes, a fluke. It no, it is not. Velociraptor? Velociraptor is not a dinosaur. That was a fluke. Y'all got to hit it again. Eddie, Eddie, fact check, please. He said Velociraptor is not a dinosaur. It is a dinosaur. It's it a, is? It's a hey, smaller... Just, how would that not be a dinosaur? I thought a Velociraptor was just a Velociraptor. Fun fact about a Velociraptor. What is a Velociraptor, Velociraptor in your head? What's what is the game? it? No, you two gotta say the same word again. A what? Aerodactyl? Same dinosaur? <laughs> the Pokemon? <laughs> no! Velociraptor is a dinosaur. Velociraptor oh. is like a smaller T-Rex, like... You know Blue basically. in Jurassic oh. Park? The she ones was that a is, okay, that's what a okay. He was thinking of pterodactyl, and that is a dinosaur as pterodactyl, well. Pterodactyl, that's what. It's also a dinosaur. About. Oh, do it again. No, 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 no. no we gotta change the category. All right, change no, no. the category. Change no, 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 no. The new category is car brands. Do you guys know enough car brands? Not me. You no. definitely do. You know enough car brands. We you know keep, enough car no, brands. We gotta keep it simple. Fruits. I say fruit. All right, fruit. Fruit's fruit. fine. Look at All each right. other. Hey, look at each other. Hey, you guys gotta uh, listen to me go because I'm gonna facilitate this this little contest. Now kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Okay, ready? Like, mm. It's for. <laughs> What's this? Uh, Who's Mango counting? Lassi. How do, do we I count or Mango you count? Lassi. Okay, uno, dos, tres. Guava. Guava. No way. <laughs> what is going on? Yo, this is You're crazy. Fucking with us. Hey, Change go. the category. Sit <laughs> back down. Sit back down. New category. Sit back down. Sit, Sit back, back down. down. What the fuck? We gotta see more. I don't want to no. do this anymore. We gotta see I'm more. Another, in the fame <laughs> house. Yeah, yeah. No, no one more, I'm one more. No, 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 harder category, harder category. Oh, Just man. one more. Wait, I'm not gonna lie. I think Eddie's reading Randall's lips as he talks. No, because, yeah, no, because, yeah, yeah. no. Don't look at each other. Don't look at each other. Turn around. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Close your eyes. Do it with your eyes. Close your eyes. closing my eyes. He closed his eyes and Eddie was not looking at him. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't mean to be a snitch. I know. I don't mean to be a snitch. No, you're being a snitch. Eddie was looking at Brando like. Eddie wasn't looking at him. Yeah, he was. Like he was. He was. Looking straight Mister, into his mouth. Mister looked like such a snitch. I don't mean to be a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Close your eyes and do it. I don't want to do no, it. No, one no. more time. Yeah, no, man. Yeah. Two, two for two. Come on. One more. Come on. Hey, if hey. you do it three for three, I will dead ass. Eddie, Eddie. Do anything you want. <laughs> turn turn Wu-Tang down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, turn him down a little Turn him down a little bit. No, hey, if you, get, if, you get, if you get three. Ass, do anything you want. <laughs> I'll come back. I'll come back next week with like, all right, we have an ESP training program. <laughs> <laughs> if you get all three right, I'll make out with Jeremy. Oh. All right, now I definitely don't want to do it. That's horrible. No, no, no. I definitely want to do it. All right. All right. Vit, take this it over, man. Dude, bro. I t- I've been saying. <laughs> For what? Hey, one more time. No, man. It's over. All right, come on. It, Listen, you win some, you lose some. For us, we win all. No, you, that's that's why, you know why that's I don't trust the second one? Because they switched over to a category. You had them with the cars. Yeah. They don't and know enough cars, said, though. What? Exactly. They you do say, know enough Honda, cars. Toyota, uh, they BMW, they BMW right. Ferrari, cars. We Lamborghini. Cars. I'm not doing anything. Then we got to do cars. Exactly. I'm good, man. Car brand? Yeah. yeah. No, like, no, 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 no. Like, close your eyes. Close your damn eyes. I'm Get telling your you, phone. his eyes was closed and he was not looking at Brando. I was watching him the whole no, time. No, I saw him. No. Close their eyes and pick a new category. That's who how are, we do who this. Who are you looking at? Which one? I was looking at Eddie, too. I was looking at Eddie, I was looking at... She could see both at the same time. <laughs> she was like, I was watching for, both of them. It's not good for the episode. Keep going. Yeah, all right, okay. That's all right. enough. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm now I'm riled up. I'm just witnessing supernatural shit. I don't trust it. I don't trust it Or I'm being played. Yeah, you're letting them... After a while, I see them on their phones. If they they can't do it with oh. their eyes closed, you know what? I literally walked in here. Yeah, Brando yeah, was looking at his computer. Yeah, they're texting. Exactly. Each other. exactly. Give me your phone right now, bitch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> close your eye. Close your eyes. Close your laptop. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Y'all had me. We, we played that just so well because because as soon as you they had to apply no no because they had the dinosaur one ready. No, nah, he's a triceratops. <laughs> yo, yo, he was so good with it. As soon as you guys were saying like fruit for the first time, he immediately texted me. Guava. Guava. <laughs> immediately texted me. For the first one, I didn't text him. I wrote it on my phone and I put it here and I waved it. Oh, at him. that's so yeah. smart. <laughs> Was Y'all crazy. had me, bro. Oh. It's a good thing he knows how to use the computer. I would have never found it. Hey, hey, I was looking at you with the guava thing. I agree. I saw you looking at him when you said guava. Bro, he, when you said aubergine, I almost... <laughs> yeah. Aubergine, that's what I was suspicious. You two ate it up. I you two were it gobbling up. it up, and I was like, there's no fucking... I'm actually, like, very gullible. I was like, like stop. I'm also pretty gullible. I was like, if Eddie, if Eddie doesn't have the vocabulary to know cars, how does he know the original I, I definition cars. of eggplant. I was just trying to steer away from that because I didn't want to, like... Oh. Get it wrong. Oh, he oh, sent another wrong. text. Yeah. Too no, manipulative. No, no. He, we can't he did trust send these another people. text. As uh, you guys were like, "No, do cars." He immediately texted me, "Toyota." I just, <laughs> I just looked at his. I just looked at his computer to see if there was a blue message, and I was like, "Okay, he sent me something." Cheating ass motherfuckers, man. Y'all were worried about me as a host. That's the most we've laughed in oh, months. I, I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> it wasn't even his question. Yeah, well, know. changing the subject. What is uh, aubergine? They just, just said, said what it was. It's, oh. the, it's the original name oh, for eggplant. I'm, yes, I I'm not remember. gonna hold you when he when he wrote aubergine. I was just like, what? Dude, the I was f- nervous. What? I saw him squinting. I'm like, he doesn't know this word. I was, yeah. So then I was just like, I'm gonna go a little slow. Yeah, yeah. And then hear the. I'm gonna hear how he fin- finishes that word. And he I'm said it. He was like, it. aubergine. <laughs> aubergine. <laughs> aubergine. He looks at Randall's we, mouth. It's like when we talk like. It's like when you're. <laughs> Don't act like you weren't surprised, man. No, dude. I was like, that makes no sense. Yo, yeah, roll, hey, roll, yeah, roll, roll the tape. Roll the tape. Roll the tape back. back. You'll that see. All because this back. guy's he was such like, a liar. No way. No, roll the tape back. I was like, I was skeptical right away. Skeptic. Hey, I'm the, I never denied I was gullible, man. <laughs> I'm too trusting because I was like, gullible. they would never. Why would he trick us? What's the point? That's why I kept being like, close the eyes. I was trying to like set up the things and then close your eyes and then we'll give them a category. Oh man, they, they were fucking they were sweating. Us. They were sweating. That's you why they're wanna... like, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I got suspicious. I was like, they're lying. <laughs> Next question, man. Why would do you not want to flex this superpower? Oh, it's yeah, been it's enough good time. time. Good enough time to okay, do the announcements. Yeah. Talk about the what we got. In well, front first of us. off, you talk about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Super bonsai dropping. We're getting so close. You know, you know when you're getting like anxious because like something you've been working on for forever is finally happening. It feels like my balls are in my throat every day. I wake up, my balls are just in my throat. Um, but super bonsai. Is Wait, what are you nervous about? Why are your balls going in your throat? Because hey, I'm just excited, man. You know what I've been working on. I think you have anxiety. 
don't have anxiety. I think you have an anxiety disorder. What, what? the fuck? <laughs> You're mad anxious about random things all the time. Like bro. what? All like. <laughs> that's how it manifests though. Comes out in anger. <laughs> when we were uh, late that one time to to Daddy Sung's. Mad anxious for no reason. Uh, oh, that's because we're stupid late. Stupid late. I mean, we're yeah, stupid late. We waited. I was right panicking. They, I was, were, <gasps> they had all the food. <gasps> well, they had all saying. the food cooked and everything. No, that no. was not. Yeah, that was that's not. A, that's a, that's, a, that's, that's a normal, anxiety. That's a normal that, yeah. thing to have that's anxiety. That's how you should feel when you show up late. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I feel like you have an anxiety disorder where you don't feel <laughs> anxious enough about things you should. I don't think I feel anxious about things I shouldn't feel anxious over. Really? Yeah. I think name, name, name something irrational that I have an anxiety. I'm not saying over. you get anxious over irrational things. I'm saying you get irrationally anxious about certain things. Like what is what? Like, like that for what? I don't think that's that was irrational. irrational. I think that's a proper because, amount because, of anxiety. No, but because I'm saying there was he, like, hella other people yeah, that were waiting. I, I, had, I, know, I had people I know waiting on us. And, and I you guys were an hour and a half late. Yeah, we exactly. Like she was I'm, cooking the meal. I'm going like, to be fucking anxious. Yeah. I understand that. I'm saying that you were overly anxious that's a normal thing to be overly anxious over yeah, he, he, he gives me like uh like the day before school starts again vibes like you're excited to I see think, all your boys yeah, i think it's stuff. more like ex i don't think I, I think i get excited about a lot of things but well, i maybe think that's it's my just, superpower maybe it's just sometimes i'm around you and you just drink coffee and that's what it is oh, and i'm just <laughs> i'm just fiending so all the time continue that's why i uh, I'm always jittery, I think, because of coffee. It's not even anxious. It's like a caffeine addiction. We totally got veered off. Oh, yeah. Super oh, anyway, Super Bonsai dropping very soon. Text UTI to the number on the screen. It's also going to be in the description. That's how you get notified directly when it drops. First product is called Super Recovery, a blend of eight natural ingredients to tackle every part of your hangover. And if you can trust anybody, it's on... Bartender. Okay. Yeah. You, you said you said an, so I expected you to use a oh, word with a vowel at the front. No, no, no. Yeah. Same. Yeah. It's a bartender. bartender. Ding. And then, as you can see on the table, we've launched something very crazy for Nectar. And by the time that this episode comes out, it'll be fully launched. If you were early and on our Discord, you would have gotten to access this even sooner. And Weeks some earlier. of you. Anyways, this is our special collaboration, two new flavors, but it's off the back of the Nectarverse. And what the Nectarverse is, is literally from the beginning of this brand, it was all your guys' decisions. What flavors we should make, what cities we should drop in, what stores we should go to. It has all been because of this community. So we've built a platform where your actions, you guys will get a vote on everything and help make decisions for this company, including the next flavors, what stores we go into, what states, where we do our events, all of the above. So sign up for the Nectarverse. You'll earn free rule. Oh, by the way, every action that you complete in the Nectarverse, you earn a free real world physical item, a collectible that you can only get in the Nectarverse. So sign up. And then we got crazier things planned in the future, but I can't say yet. And by now I can say the flavors. The flavors are uh, Mystical Mango and Lehing Elixir. So go check it out. And Nectar these cans are really nice. The cans are super fire. Mm. Can you say the collab or no? Yeah, yeah we can say the collab. So it, if, you guys, if you guys know anything about NFTs, and even if you don't, Azuki is one of the premier NFT projects, I think, right now in the world. But this is these are, leg these are genuine NFTs that some of the Nectar shareholders own. And they're literally used in the artwork on the can, and they're super fire. It's an anime-based NFT. And for those that wanted a sweeter drink, we heard you. These are very sweet. Liquid candy. Is yes. how, is oh, how the, the mango, by the way, is legit. The best-tasting mango seltzer I've ever had. Wow. And I am Jeremy's harshest critic. I will tell him when his shit tastes like cheeks. Yeah, he's very mean to me. I'm so mean to him. But, I, but, you know, I take but that's it for your this. benefit. Yeah, for your benefit. Is you know I would never lie to you. I take that abuse for you. <laughs> is it sweeter than Pog? Cause you said that's. Uh, well, I don't. I think it tastes better than Pog. I don't. I don't know about sweeter. Uh, sweeter. And and Li Hing <clears throat> pineapple. So if you guys are familiar with tahin, Li Hing is like a dried plum powder from Hawaii, and it has kind of like similar character cur characteristics. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can never fuck up on this podcast because you start to get just laughed at right away. Characteristics. I'm a big serious businessman, <laughs> and I say characteristics. The minute it, it came out, my I was like, no, no. no. I was just no like, it's five over. minute tangent of us roasting you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that same thing happened with the anxiety. Yeah, that balls in your throat. <laughs> Ew. But anyways, uh, the characteristics are very similar to tahini. It's like a tart. Uh, I would say Li Hing is like a tart, sweet, tangy, salty, almost powder. It's a dried plum powder. Named every and fucking so, flavor. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sprinkle it. They sprinkle it on everything. They put it on fruits, candies, whatever it is, but it's very delicious. Yeah, Lehing like pineapple. Some magical button you press to stimulate all your taste buds. Yeah, like. exactly. That's <laughs> Lehing. It doesn't really taste like tahini to me. Oh, no, it doesn't at all. But it's characteristics wise, yeah. he's saying it's similar. Not Make the sure. Taste. It's a powder they put on everything. Make sure to subscribe to our fan house. We uh we make it a point to uh post more behind the scenes things on there. You can see the video of me actually stepping in the fucking yeah. shit. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're doing like content dumps now. So mm -hmm. when when we go out, because they never come out. But when I we post go the vlogs, out, I post post the uncut vlogs there before. You guys, I yeah. there was a hair in here. Ew. Sue them. It's over for them. Get a refund. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Um, what was it? Oh yeah, subscribe to the fan, fan house. house. Yeah, fan two house. two bonus episodes every single month. Dollar store therapy segments. Uncut vlogs. Uncut vlogs. Content dumps. Yeah, all of the above. And everybody Uncut got vlogs. access to this news, and I gave away free gift packs to the fan house. So a lot of giveaways. So if you support us on the fan house, it's great. But also, just supporting our businesses, supporting our content, liking, commenting, subscribing. That's very very helpful too. So don't if you can't afford the fan house, no worries. Even just you watching, we appreciate yes. and we love you for it. But we don't love you as much as if you were in the <laughs> fan house. I reserve special love for those people oh for my sure. God. Hmm. And the Discord is popping. Yeah, so the Discord do be popping. I'm not gonna lie. I'd, I'd jump in once every once a yeah, month. Yeah, he's been more active now. And yeah. It makes it more fun. Yeah. It's fun. You're good at Discord. Not really. <laughs> But the kissing thing was it's, funny. It's because you're bad at Discord that makes you good at Discord. Like hey, they, it's entertaining. Yeah. They kissed in the Discord. Yeah, we, we there's a video of us kissing. Tongue and everything. Tongue. Go watch it. Why are you making that face? Huh? Why? Are you you're the, during you're, Pride Month? No, because yeah. I missed it. Oh. oh. <laughs> you guys are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, sign up for, uh, yeah, thank you. Now back to the show. Do you, uh, do you have more questions, sir? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I, 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 was like, oh, the show's over. I forgot to say the packaging and the design was done by Brando, and all yeah. the website design. Everything all the that artwork. Nectar does, branding wise, is done yeah, by Brando. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck, my bad. It's like, this shit is beautiful. Coolest. This is the, the coolest, coolest thing we've ever done. Very cool. And there, and he hid little motifs all over it. So. Oh, whoa! All right, now back to the show. Would you rather be cheated on by someone who's better looking and like oh. better status, just better oh. in life than you, or oh. someone who's worse? Like objectively worse, worse looking, wor less money, no motion. The first one. The Such fuck? An easy Why? Answer. Somebody who's better? Yes, because uh, cheating is a rich man's sport. If you're a fucking poor, don't do it. Wait, Why? wait, wait. What? How does that answer the? Oh, it's, come on. She's saying like if you if, if you, you're shorter yeah. than me and if you cheat, you're dying. Oh, so then it's worse. I'm saying it's worse. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying wait, I'm wait. saying that. What? So which one would you rather? Oh, I'm what sorry. The second one. The second one is worse. I, I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you think that if they cheated on you with somebody objectively worse than you, it's it's it hurts you more. Uh, it'll be more ridiculous if someone that's worse than me, like someone that's below me, just saying, right? Um, objectively, it would it would it would piss me off. Really? Like it would how fucking dare you? Because like why or like? Because. If you're making less money than me, it's just like. Wait, are you talking about the? You're talking about the status of the guy or the girl? Well, the question is if the girl you're that a woman. he cheats on you with is better than you objectively in every way. Would that hurt you more? Well, we're talking about. Well, it's different for me. It's a guy that's cheating on me. No, right? I know. So, but not the cheater. I'm talking about the yeah. person that get. The, the the person that he's cheating on you with. Oh. Is the is the that's what I'm saying? Oh, is I that, see, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, you're I see. fucking up the question. Oh, I think that if they're cheating on me with someone hotter. Yeah, just better than you in every way, not just hotter. I'm just going to have to be better. But it, yeah, it would, it would hurt me more. It that would hurt, hurt you more? more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, that's a fucking tough one. I'm, well, yeah, 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 better. I, I thought about it better because if it was worse, I'm like, oh, you stupid idiot. Yeah, yeah and it would I, make and me I, feel good because yeah, I it, could leave you. Yeah, and if I dipped and I was just like, dude, she, fuck, she cheated on me with a bum, you yeah, know, I would, yeah. I'd be like, I that doesn't bad. look good on your name. That's what I'm saying. It's like why? Why, why would I care no, though? No, I'm I, like, I, I'm I like, get, I'm I like that both person. Sides. If they cheated, first of all, it's a terrible thing, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's just a shitty person in your book. You're exiting them out your life, anyways. And it's like, ah, eh, whatever. Like they had terrible taste. They're a fucking idiot. Like yeah. they had I, terrible I can, taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. you know the thing is, this is what I heard. I heard that a lot of the times, like men will cheat on someone that's not as attractive as, as their, their lady. Yeah. yeah. 
But girls, when they cheat, they're always significantly better yes, than their yes, men. Yes, 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 yes. Is that facts? That's all, I'm pretty sure that's it's, facts. It's pretty obvious this. because yeah. women can choose from a lot of people. Yeah. And, men, and men, men cheat because they're horny. And it's available. Yeah. For the most part. And not the girl all, will throw themselves at him too. Yeah. I'm going to say it would hurt me more if the guy was superior to me. Because it would be a fantasy because nobody is superior to me. <laughs> so I'd be like, where'd you find this guy? You, you created him in a lab? <laughs> you happened in VR. Yeah, it's just me, but 6'3". Like. <laughs> you guys all are all saying if the person was better than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it would hurt, hurt more. more. Yep. What about you? Really? What about you? Why do you? I'm saying you, the opposite. Like you're, well, why? no, your question was which do you prefer would happen, right? I would prefer if she cheated on me with someone better than me. Because then you'll, you'll be like, oh, I get it. Because then that I could turn that, like, pain and anger into like motivation no i don't want but it really anger. only depends on if you're gonna stay with this person no no i'm leaving them no I, I would i would hopefully leave them then i mean <laughs> he's not sure if you would leave them. then, hey, man, then I'm a lover boy. if you're gonna leave it's definitely better if they cheat with the more successful person why that's what i'm saying because if you're gonna stay with them you have a greater chance of losing them to the more successful person but if they slept with someone below you, then it's like you lost the girl and you lost like part of your ego. Yeah. No. I think I think my ego would take the biggest hit if she cheated if, on if, me with If someone. somebody cheated on me with somebody objectively worse, like from every standard, like anyone's opinion worse, like it wouldn't it would be like you you just you made a mistake. Like I wouldn't even feel it wouldn't hurt my ego at all. I'd be like, you fucked up. Like I'm leaving. But no, it would anger me. It would, well, I would, so it would not anger me as much as I don't even think it would anger me if, if they cheated on me with someone objectively better. But here's why, because if it was someone better, it's like, oh, they were just teeing like I was just teed up. They were going to leave me anyway. Yeah, they right? were going to leave yeah. me for the next best option. So I, always. Like they were using me this entire time. Yeah. yeah. But I would also look at him like it makes sense. Like I, I can see why you cheated. No, because if I'm dating you, I, I think we're we're in love and we're f for each other, and that's it. But then, it, but if you cheat on me with somebody objectively, like status wise, better, then I'm like, then I then you are just a status seeker, and it's just like kind of like your your true colors are revealed. Also, something to say. I, my ego would be great. That's what, bro. My ego would take a hit. That's okay. Your ego maybe needs to take a hit. <laughs> Hey, Wait, I'm, I may need to be humbled, but an ugly bitch not going to be the one to do it. <laughs> what if you're dating her? Out? <laughs> hey, but what about like the insecurity? If, if uh, well, What about the insecurity if they cheated on you with someone way better than you that any girl after you like, oh, the minute she finds someone better than me, she might leave me. But don't you, you never feel like don't you think it'd be worse if the girl after is like, oh, I can't even trust you around ugly men now. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> good Check one. That's mate. good rebuttal. Check me. <laughs> no, but I still, I, for my reasons, I still will stick stick to the because I'm not staying yeah, with I'm, them regardless. It, it, that, the well, the situation that he said it doesn't apply to me because it's I'm leaving you regardless. I would feel it would be like you're an idiot, and I'd be able to leave easier versus like oh, I don't know. No one's that good looking enough for me to cry over them. Period. <laughs> what? What? Isn't that wait? Is Am that I on the right topic? No, you're not. <laughs> She's wait, in her wait. own topic. <laughs> <laughs> what? I do feel like we got lost in translation a little bit. The sauce was thick. Yeah, we, we got lost. Sorry, the mango latte was really kicking in. <laughs> oh, very sweet. <laughs> sweet, creamy. <laughs> <Dope>. <laughs> I'm just realizing now what you guys are saying. The mango essence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. I fucking love that guy. Hit a whole, amazing. Hit a whole mango lusty review just like that. I Tr can't. You can't? Can you? You think you no do a good person. No one could ever do that. Bring over the, bring over the mango lusty for him. Wait, can, are any of these cold? Do we have cold ones? Lusses. Uh, Grab the mango and do a fucking Wayne Dang impression of the mango flavor right now. Okay, okay. It's milky, milky mango essence. Cream. <laughs> Well, before you do it, if anyone doesn't know Wayne Dang, look him up on TikTok. I love Wayne Dang. He's Dude, I love so him. good. He's so funny. Today, we're going to be trying the Nectar Hard Seltzer mango, mystical mango flavor. And so right off the bat, the packaging is amazing. Look at this anime cartoons. It's cold. It's beautiful. It's crazy. Honestly, for the price, this is quite the steal. And I, I bet the founder is swinging me. He probably, <laughs> he's probably the most handsome guy I've ever seen. It's, I knew this would not, be funny. <laughs> it's not even close Dude, to Wayne Dang. so good. 
Wait, so, you gotta crack it and taste it and shit. Yeah, Wayne no. Dang could literally spit Bars. like 50 and adjectives in one go. He, he doesn't like cutting. stop talking. It's hella impressive. It's so impressive. It's All right, so there's, impressive. No, there's no filler words either. Yeah, exactly. Like bars there's after no bars. cuts in the video. Yeah. No, there's cuts in the video, but they're not. But he'll go on a rant yeah, before a rant, there's a cut. And then yeah. he's just a oh, cut yeah. to the next thing. So he always goes, All right, here we go. Cheers, guys. My favorite line by him is at the end when he says toodaloo. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's nice. goes, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So sweet. The mango essence is coming out of the drink that's bubbly. Hits your tongue. So nice. So sweet. So delicious. Mango. I, dude, I can't do it. He's too He's good. too damn good. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not on his level yet. Let it's me, not, let it's me. not cold enough. Why is it not cold? Because I just put him in earlier today. I do want to try it, though. Oh, yeah, you haven't tried trying it. It's so good. I haven't tried it yet. Ooh, I That's the best it. one. That's the best nectar flavor by far. Ooh. It tastes like real mango. Can, it, I, can I smell? And then the essence of Malone gives it the perfect, like, fucking... Uh, Why can't you try it? I'm sober. Oh, oh you just sniffed it? Yeah. Oh. I really sniffed How it, How long though. has it been? Uh, uh, I think it's almost a month. Damn. Almost a month, shit. damn. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think I am two and a half months abstinent. Mm. Two, really? two and a half or three months. Yeah, now. but are you beating your dick four times a day? <laughs> no, one time a day, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. And down. sometimes I take breaks. So when you go abstinent or celibate, one of the two, do you think that it's also beneficial to remove porn? Like, yeah. is it the point to like just kind of like no, cleanse por- yourself por- of porn all? Porn should be removed as well. Yeah. But because because what is the end result, though, that like you're just basically like, for me, it's religious, so, yeah. you know. For, I'm for, 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 you. For, for my reason, I've said it before, I found validation in, like, flirting with women and seeing who I could pull. Yeah. So that's why I went abstinent. Even even when I was, like, like I, I wasn't really fucking like that. I'm way too scared of, like, intimacy to just invite random people back and have one night stand. I thought he was going to say STD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm oh, not what? scared of that. Yeah. <laughs> He's just not I feel like, I feel like. Take a pill, uh, man. Live your life. Oh I think touching God. yourself is fine. I think porn is bad. Not I think touching porn, is, yeah. I don't Wait, think porn is healthy. Why? Everything that we talked about. The I think industry, that yeah. I think that porn um, it 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 builds the the part of your brain where it's just like uh, more. It's like let me let me seek pleasure or let me. Uh, sex becomes an object. It yeah. becomes less of like a, a thing that's supposed to be like. Uh, sex is an act that should be. Uh, the pinnacle of, of your relationship with somebody. It's it's love, right? It's like the pure, one of the purest forms of love. One of the actions that should result in love. Porn is very dark, degrading. Like, it takes an act that should be about love and turns it into something that is almost the opposite of love. I, I think... Disrespectful. I think like, you know what I mean? Like Maybe for guys mm-hmm. and maybe for girls as well. But for, but for me, I think it's brought me a lot of knowledge. Yeah. I study it. <laughs> I study it like Jeremy studies you watch a it like ballless game film? man. <laughs> <laughs> you watch it like game film? Yeah, I have a pen. I'm over here like, yeah. Yeah, no. I Your don't friends think come in, coach, you. coach, what are you seeing? <laughs> <laughs> I think it warped reality around sex. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something. I completely forgot. Oh, I mean, like, if, if I could summarize my journey into one little sentence, it would just be... I miss when sex used to have meaning. Oh, so Same. it was becoming meaningless. It was. Be- it, it had become meaningless. Mm-hmm. It was the only meaning was that I Validate. I wanted to see, validation. I wanted to see who the baddest woman I could mm-hmm. get in my bed was. And then once she got in my bed, immediately I was just like, I don't care about this anymore. Mm-hmm. Whereas you know, I used to hook up and it was like, oh, I actually enjoyed like talking to you. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed being around you. I enjoyed laughing with you. I enjoyed you. Holding my head and making me feel taken care of. Oh, that's kind of sad. Letting you call her mommy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah. Do you not think that porn then also kind of feeds that? Like watching a bunch of porn would then. Porn does a lot of actually like <clears throat> bad things to your brain. Like there, I forget the fucking. There's a thing about like it, it literally starts eroding like your fucking like. What's, the thing? What's that study? The fucking the it, it creates gray matter in your brain. Yeah, gray, gray matter? matter is like gray matter or, or black mm. matter, but it, uh, I think it's gray matter. And then uh, you just become uh, you are very what's the word when you're not desensitized. 
no, you're just not willing to wait. What's the? No, you're not patient. Yeah. Uh, you need immediate satisfaction for things. Mm. Uh, um, and then it's when the you number one form of instant satisfaction. That's true. Yeah. Because literally, your there. your yeah. biological programming as a, if you go to your animal programming is fucking have kids, right? Mm -hmm. But that's tough for any animal. Every animal in the in the entire fucking universe has a mating ritual for them to attract the mate and figure it out. And the weak ones literally die off, right? But in in today's society, you can get the same fucking part of your brain firing in five seconds with an online search. The most beautiful women mm -hmm. like that you could ever see, probably, that you would never, ever be able to bag in real life. You can just Google them up and watch them have sex and bust in five seconds. I had this weird thing that also made me kind of quit porn was that like every time, like after I'd nut, I'd mm -hmm. be like, Shamed of yeah, yourself. I'd be like, I'd be like, this is weird. I yeah. don't know. I had like a weird feeling. I'm being cucked. Let this guy fucking fuck the woman I want to have sex with. Okay, well, I already gave up one thing, so let's slowly. <laughs> let's slowly. <laughs> She's bargaining. Hey, I'm, I'm right with Next you. Next month, <laughs> I'm, I'm right with you. Eventually, I'll cut it out. I don't know yeah. why. For me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm. A, I don't think it's that bad for me. I'm sure there's some people that can handle moderation with everything, uh, but I think yeah. that overall it could be net negative I watched for most two people. Videos I think it's net negative, it. period. You know what's kind of interesting? Like Tim De La Ghetto like talks about it, talks about it in like videos and stuff, where he's like, "Yeah, my w wife walked in on me watching porn." Like they, he, like it's a very common thing. Ooh. Like she doesn't care, and they they have, I'm, I don't know what their sex life is like, but yeah. it's a, a thing where they they don't care. I would watch porn with my significant other. No, I don't think they watch it together. Oh. Yeah, he's like, you know. I don't think I would... Mm, would I care, actually? I don't know. I think like, we've, we've had the we talk, this we talked discussion. This, it was similar. It was when they were looking... Like, if you don't care if your significant other watches porn, then why would you care if they looked at Instagram models? Well, it's no, so my... Different. I was going to say... It's not so different. It's different. It... I don't think it's that different. It's not that it's different. It's pretty much the same thing. It's the same thing, just different. That's the thing. is like porn's become such a normalized part of society when it... Re in real, like I think you should just be realistic. If you're gonna watch it, be realistic about what it is and what it's doing to your brain. Okay, so if you guys watch porn, do you guys watch, watch it for? Anymore. Okay, but if you guys watch porn, are you guys watching a specific person? That much pain to you? Huh? She did that. No, much. man. <laughs> the other stuff did that much pain to me. So, what are you saying? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I know. What, I know what y'all were talking no, about. No, he's bullying me. Yeah. Do you guys watch it for like a specific person because that girl is hot? Sometimes. Sometimes. What if, what if, the, if the girl is not attracted? Attractive to you? Would you still watch that porn? No. no. <laughs> See, for me, for me, I don't care how attractive they are. But the, but the I example, just want them. Hey, but the, this rhythm. You're wild. Hey, hey, but the example is. <laughs> oh my lord. I don't really. I don't look at the faces. Like I'm not gonna type in like. Maybe I don't have. I don't have a crush on any of these. Like. You just turn the that's video because off maybe you're demi <laughs> Yeah. I just. Actually, I have done that. I can't even make fun of her. So, I've done so, that. Sometimes, like, a, a porn star would, like, follow me, and then I would just look her up, and that's who I would watch for, like, a week. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah, so what's the difference of that? Huh? What's the difference well, I'm of that? Well, like, I'm not creating, like, this fantasy of, like, me, like, getting fucked by this guy or anything. It's literally, like, I like a the certain sound. type of position. <laughs> And I'm just like, yeah. The this scenario, is, this watching for the scenario. Yeah, yeah but, that's, but, the, but then looking at an Instagram model that's attractive is, to me... They're not even naked. You're not watching them. Like, why would that be worse than looking at porn? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking at porn for a specific person. But yeah, but you're doing it to like receive pleasure, right? But so what like, if, so what if you walked in and your significant other was? <laughs> who do you want to follow? Hey, no, I'm saying, what if you walked in and your significant <laughs> other and your significant other was jacking off to Instagram models? How's that? Hmm. Yeah, idea. what if you looked up a new Instagram model every time and he's not doing it for a specific yeah, it's, one? It's not even porn. It's 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 they're clothed. Um I think it's a similar thing. It is. It's you're you're allowing the lust part of your brain to win. In, I was in I was gonna situation. say if if I walked in on my partner watching porn and I was there and we could readily have sex, then I'd probably feel some type of way. But if I'm like away, then watch porn. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Yes, and speaking of walking in, um, what is what is the worst position to walk in on your partner cheating on, cheating on you? Oh with? my god! That was a crazy question. These are today. wild questions. What man. would cause like the most damage? Like something that for years was just like 
like I, I have the answer. Pop into your mind. Head, hanging, talk about, talk head about. hanging off the bed, getting throat fucked. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, are we talking about positions like actual like sex yeah. positions? Whatever position. sexual position would oh. be the worst position to walk in on your girl. I'm getting saying like this in. is like like think like Chinese water torture. I don't know. I Dude, feel like looking up, into each other's eyes. Girl, no, like girl, missionary? head hanging off the bed, getting throat fucked is the worst. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's extremely bad. What I love if they warmed us up with like? What are words for butt? <laughs> I feel like love I making. You. If they, if I, if they were love making, that would hurt the most. Really? Like if they're just fucking, I'll just be like. Oh, so versus like nasty, dirty, yes, disrespectful yes, sex, yes. you'd rather not see them having passionate, loving sex. Yeah. Unless missionary with the lights on. Oh, <laughs> unless. No, I'd rather see that. I'd rather. You'd rather be, see that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Unless it was like she was doing something that you've always wanted, and oh. wouldn't let you. Oh, so she's like, like tied ooh. down and you've always wanted to do something and you were just like, what the fuck? Well, it keeps getting worse. Oh my God. It keeps getting worse. I'm still hey. sticking with my answer, but. What if, they do, what if they're doing a null? You know, you know what I just realized? So I've, I've been open on the internet, the, how I found out my first ex was cheating. I saw a video of her sucking his dick. <laughs> there was another video. Um, well, obviously they were fucking and shit. There was a video of them cuddling after. <laughs> and the dude was like, Oh yeah, she's happy and she laughed, and that's why I decided that I had to kill that man. I just remembered that. Whoa, you probably like stored that somewhere else. Yeah, dude. That's sometimes painful. the telef- we bring up these topics and it triggers things. Like when he was like, "I got, I got molested by my babysitter." Oh, I'll that too. Like- yeah, I also got my balls fondled by an old man in Vietnam by the river. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why that laugh? Oh, Wait, shit. what did he say? Fuck, bro. This is just like that time with uh, who's a who's a yeah. Korean guy? Bobby Lee. Yeah, with Bobby Lee. Where he's like, uh, I was molested by a man with Down syndrome, and then they start laughing. He's like, Why are you laughing? And then he just says it again. He's like, I was brutally molested. Hey, if I say this again and you guys laugh, okay, okay, one, one more. It try. is true though. Uh, in sixth grade, when I went back to Vietnam, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're smirking. I'm not laughing. I genuinely. I'm I, holding back pain. No, I, uh, no, no. You're smirking. No, I made no. peace with it. It doesn't bother me, but I, uh, I was by the river at my neighbor's, and I was molested by an old grandpa. What did, what did you do? He fondled my balls. Why did he fondle my balls? What, what, you chuckled. I did it. <laughs> Why? Move your hand from your mouth. That's wild. <laughs> Wait, you know how like um like during sports, you know how like parents would think it's cute to like hit the kid's butt? Like would you be would you be pissed off if like a coach did that to your kid? Like you know how like you know how like you know what I mean? Mm, would not you like be pissed a quick off? slap, but like uh, yeah. a good job, buddy. You know how like Yeah, if he's like walking by and he gets yeah, you. Yeah, but like yeah, would would you think? No. Nah. I, I think as long as the kid is uncomfortable, each other, do you think bro. so? Yeah, I literally touch his man so mm. inappropriately. Yeah, I no, know. I don't think I would I care. I realize I have a touching problem. I touch many people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always grab Always me. men. I don't touch women. But my like, dad slaps my butt sometimes because like, oh, what it means like, oh, our daughter, you know? And I'd be like. <laughs> Beat up your dad. Wait, wait, wait. The, the balls fondling story is kind of crazy. Crazy. What happened? Have who's I not this? told that? No, yeah, no, no never heard not. Who's, who was the who was the I've never even told guy. my mom that. No, I'm Who's, pretty sure my mom doesn't know. Who was the fucking guy? I have no idea. How did you <laughs> How did you feel? Was it like uncomfortable? Did you not know what it's happened? When you I was young, like, I didn't yeah. know what the fuck it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, I do remember thinking it was like, it's kind of weird. It has happened to me too. You had your balls fondled? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Please stop. I'm, go- I'm, I'm getting so defeated. <laughs> No, wait, no, I, no, it wasn't, it wasn't hey, even. I apologize. That's, I should not have done that. That's so stupid. No, 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 it wasn't. I, I don't it was know. There's no, funny. there's no trauma. There's no trauma to this. <laughs> okay. Huh? Okay. I don't, I, yeah, continue the story, man. No, no, no. It's like it, in the, in the, like the moment, it wasn't even like, oh, I was just like, huh? Right. But then like, <laughs> he just looks. <laughs> just tried. Why, why are we no, making no, me but laugh? Then, no, 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 no. It wasn't anything like back then. I was just like, oh, okay. It is what it is, right? Uh-huh. And it didn't like make me feel weird or anything. Do you want to say the situation or no? Yeah, sure. But uh-huh. then like later on, I just want to say later on, I'm like, huh, that was a little weird. Yeah. Oh, no, you know definitely. I mean? After I grew up, I was like, oh, that was a little weird. I did not remember this happened until the very first trip I took. So back in 2021, I think, mm. when I was in New York at Allen's crib, randomly like woke up from a night out. And then just, it popped in my head. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. this happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure I made one TikTok about it, and that's the only time I've ever talked about it, like, to anyone. I'm pretty sure my sister doesn't know, my mom doesn't know, Mm -hmm. nobody knows. I mean, this is why they go after the little kids, you know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Because they don't think anything of it. Until later on, they it comes back and they're like, what the fuck? And it's just too late. What yeah, was, yeah. What was your situation? Okay, so my situation was that I was, I forgot how old I was, but I was in my room and then my mom uh, got the phone and she was like, oh, uh, this is the doctor from your school and he wants to talk to you. And so obviously I was like, okay. I, I took the phone and then basically he was like, oh, you know, I'm your doctor from blah, blah, blah. You know, is this, you know, Esther, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, okay, well, we're doing checkups. So he basically like, so he wasn't in, it wasn't in person. It was just like through the phone. And he was like, okay, well, um, make sure that you're in a, in a room, right? Make sure you're, you're in your room. Uh, make sure you lock it so that nobody comes in. Um, this is what we're going to do because in order to check your, you know, like your health and whatnot, right? So t- uh, told me to take my, yeah, told me to take my pants down and then like start like, feeling around right this is like a facetime thing no no there wasn't there was no facetime back but then. i'm saying like it was like screen to screen no, no, no just no. phone just, just through phone. phone what yeah what and, then he, and then yeah and then he would he would ask me like oh how does it feel like blah blah blah, like shit like that and then and then for me i'm just over here down there like you know like <laughs> wait was good. this a real doctor or a random number <laughs> no i think it, there's no way it could be a doctor yeah. it's literally what a perv fuck that yeah like i have no idea right and then and then and then i'm just like and then um, I was like, oh, I guess I'm good. And then but I the, said... How did they know that you live there? And I don't know. That's creepy. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I just remember that. And then I remember my mom, like, knocking on the door. And I was like, oh, okay. I got to go. My mom's knocking. And they said, okay, you're, you're all good. And then I put my pants back up. Whoa, but then, yeah. But back, but back creeps, then, I'm just bro. thinking, obviously, I'm going to trust the dolls. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this this man... That's and he knew what to say to your mom too to be like, oh, this has to be and the doctor from the school. My mom's Asian, like she doesn't yeah. really speak English very well. She's like, even when it comes to like taxes, like I'm like ten, she's over here like, hey. <laughs> well, that, that's why. That's why it so always my taxes. Yeah, I feel like like no, see what I, he's saying. You know what I'm saying? So if someone's asking for me, she's automatically gonna hand the phone to me because she can't. She doesn't know how to speak yeah. English. That's, that's why this shit always yeah. happens from people I, that I know remember. you. I don't remember. I was, I was young that knows her. That's what I was just about to say. How would they know that you live there? Like your I have age? no. I literally yeah, have somebody, no idea. It's somebody. It, it's always somebody in the life for reasons like that. Because with children, there's always like that yeah. protective gate. But like to get past it is like you. You have to know information yeah. at the very least. But it's least always like possible. Creepy Anything's possible. What the fuck? Yeah, and then later on, I realized like this was like years later. Once like I. I, I knew about all of these things. I was like, wait a second, that phone call was so sus. But then like back then you're just like, this is a, a an adult that is caring about my health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy, it's right? fucked, bro. Well, I saw this, so there was a, there's a very, I didn't watch this. There's a, there's somebody interviewed, I forget what news channel, they interviewed a pedophile, like a convicted pedophile on his methods of what he, like how he picks victims and shit. Then I watched Patrick Bet David break it down afterwards because he watched it and he basically said but one of the big things was he avoids families where there's a strong father figure present. Ooh. So he's just fully does doesn't even bother with that shit. And like a lot and then it was just like it just goes to show like how fucking important having both parents in, oh. in, in a kid's life is. R. Kelly, all those girls that he tormented, mm-hmm. all like similar, like broken home, yeah. <gasps> were able to be manipulated. The second thing too is also that fucked up gymnast coach. That like Who's sexually good? assaulted like a hundred girls. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. in Michigan. What, what was this? He was like, uh, he was the gym. He was the head therapist or head doctor for the girls like national team, mm-hmm. Team USA. Yeah. And it was a crazy, crazy story. Like hundred sixty girls or something. Holy over. Fuck. Yeah. So disgusting. Yeah. Did you guys see the doctor that was giving his own sperm? As like sperm donor, like, or no, it was like it was like women coming to, with like fertility issues with their husband. And then he would like, he, I forget what, he, what kind of, he's like a fertility they made, doctor. They, I made guess. The, they put this on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was some crazy ass and story. Swap, basically. He basically used his own sperm. So mm-hmm. all these women were having his children yeah. unknowingly against no consent, against their will. Yeah. Wait, and how forget, did they find How did they find I don't out? know. I didn't watch the documentary. I just know this is the story, but that's fucking crazy. Wait, what? damn. Is I that want, like a kink? Bro, this is, dude, there are super villains in this world. That, yeah. Those are super villain level activities. Like, imagine, imagine the dad of that family having to look at that kid. Oh my God. Like, what I would murder that guy. Yeah. Probably not actually, but I would be very angry. I mean, is he not in prison now? I'm assuming think, he's in prison. I don't know the story. We should find out. Uh, I think yeah. he's dead now because this was in the 70s. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. yeah. That's um, you guys know how, uh, good to know he's resting in yeah, hell. Yeah, he died, he died two years ago. How'd he die? 
I think that's when the shit came out. The documentary came out because he died. I think so. No, oh, there's some weird documentaries on Netflix Bru- too. Did, just, did you hear about that Korean church? Which one? The cult. Yeah, the cult one. What up? There's like a lot of like weird recordings of him, like. Oh, that te- one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, telling like, basically saying like, "Oh, what do you want me to come inside you?" Shit like that, and it's like uh, it's a pastor. Ugh. My question for you: Don't two. trust religion. <laughs> I always what? My uh, my. Um, <laughs> That was clearly a cult, you know what my, I mean? My my question for you two is like when you get older and like those experiences happen, like do you see like like oh maybe that's why I gravitate towards something like did it affect you long term or you're like I'm not really sure. I can't see a correlation. I don't know if that specific one did. Um I got introduced to sex very weirdly. Uh when I like I say as a joke, but I did get molested by my babysitter's little daughter. Mm-hmm. So I must have been, I think, eight, and she was probably, like, 11, 12, and she would, like, make me eat her out. That's so crazy. Yeah. That is so crazy. And it, I was a child, and she was, like, not that much older than me, so I thought it was normal. And that's also how I started, like, beating my dick. How but then she... also, I used to get caught by my babysitter beating my dick. And this is before I could even, like, come. It was, like, a little droplet came out. Uh, and then she used to whip my hands every time she caught me. Do you think that, like, you know how you said, like, discovering porn as early as you did? Yeah. So, like, you saw the progression of how porn turned you kind of into, uh, it made what, you a, into what? a sex addict. <laughs> into what? Okay. Into what? Yeah. Is I, that fair to say? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> but, but. You gotta own it, man. Do, and do you see, do you kind of see, like, a connection? Like, okay, well, then porn led to this and this and. My Definitely. relationship and views. That's that's Absolutely. that's the only reason I don't really have that high of a body count is because I am genuinely like scared of sex. Like people always think I'm joking when I say that. I do not enjoy having sex for the first time. Even when like my my two exes, the first few times I was always like panicky. I I don't enjoy having sex. Scared your hand? Like 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 what's your okay? Interesting. Like I worry about uh, my performance. I worry about the intimacy. I worry about. Just everything. I don't, like, enjoy the first few times. That's also why I treasure, like, when I am in a relationship and I can't have, like, safe sex. To be honest, like, being, like, in a super strict religious household, too, man, like, similar things manifested in me when I was younger, too. Yeah. Like, it was like a, it was like an anxiety-ridden thing than, like, something enjoyable. What, what about you? Oh, sorry. What was the question? I, I, was, listening, <laughs> I was listening to you guys, but what was the question? Uh... The, the do, you, do you so like similar to how with him porn yeah watching porn as early as he did turned him into a sex addict and for him mm. it was like uh that experience you know led him to it created anxiety around mm-hmm. sexual experiences did that manifest into something bad like do you look back and you're like oh maybe i'm this way because no you know i don't think that moment like did anything for me because I, I just you had no idea what I had happened. no idea what it was, it was. so normal <clears throat> like in your child brain what did it for me was that uh i was very young when i started you know touchy like not even touching like it was just like i don't even i don't think i even want to say it <laughs> shoving things up there no no i wasn't i wasn't even i wasn't even why'd you say it like that he always just say, he says, throws says it in, in the most vulgar way no, no, he, he throws in little details so like, i'll just come in a little drop like i'm just like okay. whoa yeah. i have to describe the, the like i need you guys to picture never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. i think i think if i i think if i say this like it would come off really weird unless i go on this like very long tension <laughs> so like i'm just not gonna say i'm just not gonna say yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So before you, so when you started exploring yourself, mm. um, it was on a Nintendo DS. What? I, don't, I don't, I don't mean. I'm saying you're saying what led to. Do you have any? Hold up. Oh, there's no. <laughs> so he has. So so he has anxiety. The original around. question was basically how do you do you think like your it affected you your negative mm. experiences like that with the doctor? Do you think it's affected you in any way like? negatively no. or no she answered that yeah she said I no. said I said no but I, I I was just gonna say that it started yeah okay. when I when I found the DS <laughs> and there was a DS and there was a little chip you know the little what is it called the little the game, game thing cartridge? that you put in there game yes. shark the yes. fucking um and the, there was the internet. one that jailbreaks it yeah, yes there's yeah. internet in there and I used to search up porn mm. on there what's the weirdest thing you've searched porn up on 
Um, the weirdest thing? Like the weirdest like device? DS, yeah. Yeah, it was DS, yeah. yeah. I've never searched anything that on, I was on anything researching that weird. the weirdest <laughs> things. No, I have a funny ass story about my friend. Right. So oh, he, he yeah. No, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. I wouldn't. What's your friend's name, Jerome? Because <laughs> I wouldn't tell this story if this was anything related to me because it's uh -huh. so wild. Uh -huh. But he was literally just like a porn addict, would watch it like in class. Like he had like a That's fucking wild. iPhone touch. So it wasn't even, it didn't have, like, you had to connect to Wi-Fi or, like, load videos onto it. And yeah. this is back in the day, back in my day, where it was, like, really, I don't I don't really know how he did it, right? Um, <laughs> and uh, one time he comes back. I have, like, I have an art, whatever, first period. And so he walks in late. He's going by. He's like, guess what I just did? I was like, what? He's like, I just jacked off in a bush outside. I was like, why? He literally, he was like, he, he, he had my friend's Wi-Fi password, and on the way to school, he sat in his bush so he could connect to the Wi-Fi, jack off in the bush, and then That's came the most like high school thing to like brag to your friends about. I know. I, know. I, I just thought it was weird. Wait, but was, would you guys that? brag to your friends I if you did I would never that? do that, nor brag about it. <laughs> I think you, I, f I would feel I like you would, would be more embarrassed about yeah, it, no? Did, did, did this guy have something wrong with him? No, no, no. He oh. was very proud of it. Everyone knew. And what's crazier is there was a kid in school, and he used to jack off in class. Oh, that's crazy. And oh, that's he would, fucking wild. Yeah, and now I think about it, this is super weird, but he would show people the inside of his hoodie. You're in. I'm, I'm yeah. dead serious. I'm dead like serious. Like the mess there's, after? Yeah, there's multiple people oh. that could corroborate the story. Oh, my God. Isn't that dude. considered sexual harassment yeah, at that fuck? point? Yeah, Why'd yeah, you go yeah. to school with hella serial masturbators? <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, who knows? <laughs> I told you guys about my drama that's teacher. That's why he's who, like, so weird. Doll. Oh, yeah. The yeah, sex yeah. doll. That was sex fucking doll's creepy. Weird. Sex doll's weird. It's somewhere... Sitting on a VHS somewhere. What the fuck? You drink? I do. What do you drink? Not hard seltzer. Because they're gross. Have you had like a? No, I won't stoop to that level. How come? What do you not like about them? I've never had it, but college students drink it, so I won't. Well, we got something a little more elevated. We have I'm Asian flavors. Well, that one's pretty good. Lychee's good too. Got them here at Whole Foods. So Twenty ninety nine. I should take one. Okay, we'll take one. Amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, thank you. I look you want hey, on, to tell on, a story, but I'm afraid. So I'm afraid. It. Hey, if you want to hear what he has to say, check out Fan House. <laughs> hey, on the on the subject of molestation, um <laughs> have you guys seen subject. have you guys seen the tweet where it's like now they're saying Ferb was or Phineas was touching Ferb and that's why he was quiet? What? <laughs> Wait, they were the same age though, they were brothers. I know, but it's, I know, it's just a crazy it's ass. It's just a wild thing craziest to say. Craziest tweet I've, I've ever never seen. I've never seen that tweet. I don't know why. I need what, to find what it, What side bro. of Twitter you're on? Yeah. I hop on like once a week and I just see the craziest things. They're, you, the, they're the letter people? Yeah. <laughs> the letter people. <laughs> <laughs> what, aren't they shaped like a P and a Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they are. You're right. Yeah. That's why it's Phineas. <gasps> are you serious? Yeah. What? And we should shoot, 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 shoot this no jumpers jump style. So it'd be like, did you know that? No Finn jumpers jump. Oh, do it, do it right now. Two fucking. She'd be podcasts. rubbing off on me. The, f <laughs> the fobness. Yeah, yeah. But you got to do it. Did you know that Phineas and Ferb are actually shaped like the letter? What? It's a P oh and F. Oh my god, they are oh, like the P and the F. <laughs> because P is Phineas and F is Ferb. So the reason behind that is, no, nah, I just thought of some fucked. And you know they said. both both their names are an F sound, but they use different letters. Ooh. Oh. What about there's Candace? 365 days of summer. Wait, what about which... Candace then? <laughs> oh. I smiling. God damn it. Wait, why, why, why? You almost had it. Damn, that would have been so perfect. What about, what about Candace? Tell me. It's too late. Oh. It's not I don't, fun to do I don't it to want you. to say it to you. Yeah. You're a woman. Well, I haven't even seen this. I don't I, put, Fill me in. No, you don't want to be filled in. Can I just I tell got her? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Candace, dick fit in your mouth? Oh, <laughs> get fucked. Anyways. I get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> he goes, anyway, it wasn't even that fun to do it to her. She was like yeah. genuinely clueless. Or she would have been like, huh? <laughs> Wait, explain. <laughs> oh, that's, I love doing that. When someone makes like a very obvious joke, they're like, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it ruins their whole vibe. Yeah. Favorite thing to do. Yeah. When someone's mean to you, you just go like, just act like super nonchalant. Just like, huh? I physically cannot. I have to let them know that I'm better than them. <laughs> I, I wish I could do that. What's your next question? In so say your life has progressed to. Do a you have point. any lighthearted ones? <laughs> no. like, oh, I told you we started light. This is dark. Hey, the, the, this should it be like two random hey, hey. ass questions the, into. Hey, so I, I was touched. Told you. Hey, write this down. The title of this episode: Vit's darkest. Do, I'm being, sweating in my just pits. Being touched for real. Yeah. yeah no, Whatever. Okay. Say your life has progressed to a point where you have, for the men. I, your mom, 
your wife and your daughter. You, your dad, your husband, and your son. If you happen to be in an accident where you could only save one, who are you going for? My child. I would say Why? the husband, because we can make uh, more of those little shits. <laughs> more of those little shits oh, is whoa. crazy. Yeah, I'm going to pick my child. <sighs> what did Daniel's song say? I'm asking you guys. I think if they were in a life or death situation, I think they would still pick their kids. Hey, am I allowed to talk to them? Like, how badly do you guys want to be here? This is a tough thing for me. Hey, who knows the most about me? The the sons over here, like, the sons over here, like, I don't even want to be here. God, mom. I'll be like, all right. Damn, that's a tough. What's what's the scenario? It's life or death. No, I know. Are they all hanging from a cliff and you can only grab one? Sure, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Burning car. Have you ever seen no, no, this? no. You're all in a car. You're all in all, a car. All three are surviving. And you can all, <laughs> <laughs> you're in a car. It's teetering off the cliff and you can only yank one person yeah, out. Yeah. Out of the car? Yeah. The scenario does not matter. You can only save one person. Well, from it does because if some are going to lose a limb but still live. No, like, I'm saying <laughs> life or death, Brando. It's just black and white, yeah, man. There's no, life, there's no, there's none of this gray space. Motherfucker. You know? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be hella trauma because they just lost half of their no, family. No, you guys are changing my question. <laughs> I would stand by the hubby. I would, I would, I would keep, I'd keep my wife. Really? Oh, really? The mom, depending on the age, if I'm having kids or whatever, she's probably reaching that age. Close. So okay. I wouldn't be like, okay, that'd be tough. But I'm just saying. <clears throat> and the kid. <sighs> the kid is too innocent. I will save the kid. I'm How old is this kid? Does not matter. Well, it does, it does matter some, because they're young, 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 young. It's like my child. It's teen- my my teenager. purpose. Once I have a child, oh, my toddler. my number one duty toddler. is to protect that child. Baby, so, baby. Yeah. You could save two with a baby. You could save <laughs> one stop. arm with a baby. Stop. Hey man, just stop, imagine man. there was a video game parameter. You okay. try to save the second one, it's like blocked. And I'll blocked. revise the question, Brando. It's three of your favorite women <laughs> in your harem, but the one that it's the one that gives the best dome, the one that throws it back. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. one that makes you babysit her dog. I mean, <laughs> everything's one? really hard, but honestly, like, if I really had to choose, it would be a husband, yeah. Yeah, this is hard. I'd, I'd pick my wife. Really? Yeah. Over your child? Yeah, because... An innocent child. Yeah, only because... Um, that, that child will meet God. Yeah. And Do you guys okay. think... Imagine the child living without one parent. I uh, imagine a parent li- imagine living with a your dead child, child dying. Yeah, or dead mom. You guys keep trying to throw this around on me, and I'm saying it's a hard question. I'm it's a, like, very, it's yeah, a very I hard think, question. I think the child's the answer because if you save your spouse, you're gonna have survivor's guilt and then Dude, be depressed yeah. forever. There's no the life is not worth living. Or or you have another child with them. It's not this. You don't replace your child with another course, child. It's not course. a one for one trade. Yeah, but man. there's a lot of there's a lot of situations where. Kid dies in some way or another, and obviously, it's and those difficult. people never the 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 way that biology goes. A parent should not watch their child die. You should not. I think the I parent think- should die before the child. So to to and and plus, if you're gonna take the responsibility of fucking bringing another life into this world, you should be willing to lay your life down for both of you. Okay, should be willing to lay your life down for that child. The only reason why I'm saying this is because I don't have a kid. I know for a fact That's what that I was like ask. W- that that people with kids they're I'm pretty sure they're going to pick the kid. Yeah. But for me, because I don't have a child, I don't know how it feels like. That's what I was going to ask. Do you that- think your answer is determined because none of us yeah. have kids right yeah. now? Yeah. So I'm yeah. being like, yeah. I'm- I think it's pretty obvious, though, if you had a kid. If you are going to take the responsibility of bringing a kid into this world and you would choose your husband to save over that kid's life, don't have kids. And I know you don't want to, but yeah. just don't. That's yeah. why I'm, I'm not having kids. Yeah. I don't even like kids. Exactly. She's like, fuck that baby. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like perfect scenario. Well, <laughs> she makes the scenario happen. Oh, wait, the scenario's still terrible because the parent is still involved. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, Why regardless, I, man, don't have kids if you're going to choose to fucking like, save your I spouse. I feel like they're going to cancel us. I, Why good, you deserve to be canceled. No, fuck? you guys, everyone has their own opinions. This is okay? not canceled. I don't, I don't even have a kid, so I can't speak for anybody, but yeah. I'm speaking Editors, for myself. cut that part out. No, 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 don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't. I'm kidding. It's a tough, tough question, right? Which one would you pick? Very tough question. As of right now, because I don't have a girlfriend, I doubt, I, I, I don't even know if I've ever truly been in love um, and I don't have a kid, I would say my mom. Because that, that is my, all I've known when it comes to like pure love. The, um, well, I mean, 
for this question to make sense though, I feel like you have to you have to be thinking about it from the perspective you do have a wife that you somebody fell in love with deeply enough to marry and have a child with and that you do have a child that you created a life from because otherwise it's like no shit child. I'm picking my mom because my mom is the only one that's real yeah. like okay going off that then I, yeah. I would think my child yeah let's say you were let's say you were the actually that makes no sense I was saying let's say you were the child what would you want <laughs> the, the, what? what would you want the other every all three wanted to say yeah, if you had to pick who's gonna save your life of the three, a baby or, or your mom? Yeah. <laughs> the baby. Like my ninety-year-old like, mom. Or? <laughs> Imagine you're all yeah. falling off. You just see a toddler hand come out and grab you by yeah. your pinky yeah. and just holding you, and you're like, "He's like, I picked you. You're lucky." <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mom wasn't very you nice to me. You had to buy to me, me the, the new Xbox. I saved your life. <laughs> um, I don't no. think my mom would want to be saved. To be, if yeah, I'm in that situation, clear. your your mom would not, and yeah, it's the sh it's very shitty to say and think about, but yeah, I'm gonna ask my mom that question. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, can I, phone, I, I came, can I phone a mom? Okay. No, no, no I, I came up. Ask your mom. Mom. Ask my mom, me or dad. I, <laughs> I came up with this question, and then I distinctly remembered we were at like a family party, and all the grown ups were like talking about this situation, and my mom answered she would save me and my sister over my pops. My pops got mad at her. And that's the first time in my head I was a teenager. I was like, this is an insecure little boy in a man's body. Mm. That's the first time I ever had, like, consciousness enough to realize that. Mm. Wow. Hey, he called you insecure, both of you. What? No. Because you chose the same option. No, the fact that he got mad you, about the answer. Uh, <laughs> I was instigating. Saw an opportunity. Wow. Depends on how successful my kid is. Has yeah, this been a good kid? <laughs> it's a baby. It's the most innocent thing in the oh, world. It's a baby? We said, what? I thought the age. No, we changed no, we it to did. a baby. It's, it's a baby. It's a baby. Imagine Jeremy's like, you're going to get all A's? All right, then. <laughs> Hold my hand. God. Your dad's up. I don't like these we know questions. That. Next, next question. Is yeah. it even worse? <laughs> at the time, it should it be our be. darkest episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing you guys into the chaos that is my mind. Yeah, is like there another one? Yeah, man, I have a lot more. Oh, come on. <laughs> Keep you going. Should, you should never worry about me hosting another episode. Trust me, I come prepared. <laughs> he's railing us. I think I, I, think I might I have think to start drinking. he's punishing us for doubting him. I might have to start drinking again, honestly. This is very intense for I'm me. I'm sad. I'm stressed Woo! out. <laughs> um, so, I, some, some backstory. I was having a, a bad day, but just about like... I went to Best Buy and I bought a... Uh, like a nice vacuum and then they didn't let me return it mm. because Why they closed not? because I walked in at 801 so I had to oh, wait until the next day oh, to come I back and return, just it. Let you return and I was pissed about stupid shit uh -huh. driving home um, I saw an old Asian lady literally bent over like 90 degrees carrying like four bags in each hand and it felt like a slap in the face like just like a like a reality check I'm like I have both my legs I have health, I have my car, I have friends, I have so much in the world, and I still allow little things like this to trouble me. Mm. So going off that, what are other things similar to, to seeing like an old person struggling that makes you like, like your heart beat, like your heart strings like twinge? Homeless, uh, kids that are homeless. Oh. I think anything to do with kids that are uh, just disenfranchised, what's the word? Like mm. something like they're just disadvantaged. Oh, like yeah. crippled children, like, yeah, like third world poverty, where it's like there's no because they didn't choose that. Yeah, yeah, first world poverty, like first world, like if you have internet connection, there's like a hope, you know what I mean, like that you can learn shit and and get your way out. But like third world, like no internet connection type poverty, like you know, like just you're doomed to this life. I actually have a lot of those videos saved on like TikTok. Uh huh. So then I can rewatch it again and like cry, because it makes me feel yeah. very very grateful. And it, I'm just like, holy shit, I have it so good. Like, how dare? I mean, like, I don't. It's kind of like guilt tripping, I guess. But like, it's just like, I have so much, and I'm always like complaining, and I'm being a lazy piece of poo poo. Yeah. I'm just like, damn. You know what I? You know what I? Uh, what I genuinely don't like that everyone thinks is a good thing. That's there's a saying of like, oh, like you're. Just because someone has it worse doesn't mean you're not allowed to feel bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it co it comes from a place of like, oh, we're so accepting and everyone should have the chance to feel bad. But like, 
why why do you want to promote feeling bad like why is it that we want to push like it's okay to feel bad feel bad feel more bad when in reality those reality checks center us to be like fuck it, it makes you grateful right it that that is basically saying like you shouldn't be grateful you're you should feel bad you are everything you feel bad about is valid that's such a dumb mindset to push on people especially when you're trying to be like woke and open about it where it's like think about really what you're doing like the 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 reality check that we all get from a situation like that is gratitude it's becoming grateful for the things we currently have and then to say like well your issues are valid because everyone is like just be indulge in your issues feel bad about well that shit. yeah that gets carried that way but it could be the same thing for him right it could uh -huh. be like well just be grateful that you know you had a roof over your head and a mother that loved you even though his dad was super abusive, right? It could have been worse. I, I, Both parents could have hated you, exactly, right? Exactly, but it that's always, the thing is that, that that feeling of gratitude for what you do have is like, that's like hope. That's essentially hope equivalent. And when you have those, like that, like in that moment where you see something that reality checks you and you feel grateful about what you have no matter how, what the fucking bad went through, right? That is like the anti, antithesis or whatever to that feeling to say that you should just feel bad regardless of everyone else's situations i was gonna say i i've always taken that uh that saying in a different sense and i mean you like uh what's that book benny reality mm -hmm. we just talked about this man what i've always seen it as you should never like bitch about small like small shit indulge in your feelings in the sense of like allow yourself some time to be sad indulge mm -hmm. in that because if you keep shutting it down it's just going to manifest and build up but then remember what you have and that's why gratitude yeah, is so important that, that's not what i'm that's i agree with that completely still and, and that's I, what i meant i think the original version of that is meant to be like don't bury your emotions uh -huh. and then people took it in okay, the other way exactly that's what i mean is that the people who say that shit they are not bending reality readers you know what i'm saying like they are not like feel your emotion and then pass it on it's like it, it pushes this like just we live in a victim world like everyone it's like a victim olympics like everyone can see that everyone feels it and that mentality is why it's like a fucking it's like a it's like an excuse card, like a cheek, like a card that they play where it's like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Where they whip it out, where it's like, my trauma isn't any less valid just because someone has it worse because mm -hmm. I'm going to use this as like a fucking victim card. It's not people being like, I should feel this negative, this emotion. I should indulge in this emotion because I need to get past it. They're not trying to work past it. They use it as an excuse. Agreed. And that's what I mean is that like that shit is dumb and it's the biggest cancer to our society that's happened in a long time. I agree time. in the most like extreme cases like my trauma is my mom used to make me go to bed at nine. Mm -hmm. Like, shit that dumb. That's a but trauma? It's like, but the other thing, too, that gets tough in those situations is someone's reality is someone's reality. That is true. Which is why I think, why, which is why I think that when we were building the human in the last episode, why I was saying it's like, how do you build, mm. what was it, gratitude? No. Yeah. It was like, I'd make them go Empathy. volunteer, yeah. like, put the, take, them, take themselves out of their environment. But if people don't have that experience, like, how are you supposed to, give someone that reality you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like i'm not saying it's okay i'm just saying it's it's just tough it's like if no, they no. haven't experienced it then like totally uh, agree I, I but if know. you i th i agree where it's like if you and your reality just haven't experienced that but then shut the fuck up that's all it's just like stop fucking talking all the time and fucking pushing your your small fucking minuscule brain ideology everywhere because it's like you haven't experienced shit Clearly, and that's okay if you just fucking keep it to yourself. But to fuck, but stop spreading your dumbassness everywhere. It's like it's a fucking poison that just seeps to everything. I, I do have an example actually. But time out though. It also goes the reverse way where people are like, "I've gone through so much. You would never understand. You had it so much better oh, than I me." Hate I agree. That I think it's the same. Ways. I think it's two sides of the same coin. So then I'm like, dude, I don't need to necessarily have the. Like no, that's the same. Up. That's yeah. the same type of person in my head. What do you? Mm -hmm. I think it's the same it's exact the same. problem. Yeah, that's Bro, not. That's not different. That's, that's what not I hate. Different at all. Um, Nick. Whenever Nick and Sean like, when they're whenever they're like, struggling with something, they've told me that they don't like coming to me because it's like, oh, you've gone through so much and blah blah blah, and I'm complaining about this. And every single time I look at them, I'm like, it does not matter what I've gone through. It doesn't matter what Wu Talk's gone through. Jeremy, anybody you know in your life. If you are struggling with something, we're your, we are here to help you. You should never dumb your 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 problems down and. But shouldn't they sometimes? No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. That because it plays back to you should feel 
all your feelings and all of that shit, right? But if Nick was like using, Nick is not, neither, none of those kids ever we're, use we're their. Using, we're using just examples. No, no, I know. Yeah. But none of those kids use it, right? In the way that it's like a fucking victim blaming. Like imagine Nick just never did shit every day. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, my mom was mean to me and blah, blah, blah. When well, I react, can't do this because my child. Yeah, right? it's like, exactly. That would fucking, I would dead ass be like, shut your dumb ass up. Yeah. Like never say that shit to me again because how, how are you not grateful first? You know what I'm saying? Like all those kids are very, they're very aware yeah. of what they, they're, they're very grateful of shit that they have, which I like about them. That's one of the reasons why I think that they're all very great kids is because even, even if they, they're like just able to realize like, dude, my parents gave me so much mm -hmm. and like, and, and they realized it way earlier than most people that like at 22 to realize like, fuck man, my parents fucking put in work to get, to bless me with hella shit that you, you get a, there's a reason why they're winning because they are gr grateful for all that they already have. You know what I'm saying? And they like, don't try to but pretend like they had a tough life. But if you're either. a fucking suburban kid and you're, and you want to fucking, it's like, I love emo music, but every time I listen to that shit and the mm -hmm. fucking type of people that listen to it, it's literally suburban kids that wish they had problems mm -hmm. and they fucking whine and complain about the dumbest shit. Try to be as angsty as possible because it's like an aesthetic for them. They love looking at other people that suffer and be like, fuck, that's cool. I wish I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I mean is like the fucking toxic mentality, the victim mentality. That's a cancer to I society. I hate this victim mentality thing. Honestly, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I think we've all done it. Of course. <clears throat> But I've, you grow I've out it, of it yeah. at a certain point. I've done it for years, and I used to use like epilepsy as like, like you know. Like that's an actual like. Yeah, no, it is. It though. is. But then I I did use it because I would always. It's like I'm my own person, but I would always kind of be like, oh, I'm epileptic. Yeah. And it's just like yeah, and it's just like okay, so. That, and that and that's what I, I mean is that too. That's a valid thing, right? But technically, everything is valid, like you said. In everyone's reality, their problem is their worst problem they've ever dealt oh yeah. with. True. So the my say, what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't fucking. Everyone has a fucking bad thing. Feel it, move past. Don't use it to fucking be yeah. a victim. Like the second, the only time she'll ever defeat epilepsy, you can defeat anything as long as you don't believe that it's defeating you. As long as you don't bring it up and everything as your excuse for not doing some shit. Like I have a quote. I have a quote. <laughs> the only fair thing about life is that life isn't fair to everyone. Yes. Ve Boom. Bars. Wait, Damn. Say, it, say it one more time. That's good. The one. only fair thing about life is that life is not fair mm -hmm. to everyone. That's to the, everyone. That's the important part of it. Mm -hmm. To Facts. everyone. Yeah. Life isn't Life's fair. Life's not to fair, everyone. man. There's and like that's the only fair thing about it. It's like there's another similar quote where it's like, "Don't ask God to make life easier. Just make ask God to make you stronger." Yes. Something like that. I, it, that My was God, correct. I don't want to be your strongest Lee, soldier man. anymore. <laughs> That's like what we cry about on the phone sometimes. We're yeah, like, yeah. Man, we're like sh shooting like issues we're going through together, yeah. and we're like, man, wish I would just take it off that list sometime. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Put me on the bench, God. <laughs> Please, God, stop giving me your toughest battles. Yeah, I'll sweep the barracks. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the strongest soldier. I think you got me mixed yeah, up. I don't I need mean, to be in the guys, front line. <laughs> I think we're all pretty empathetic people. It's just... I think we're... I think all four of us very far yeah. beyond the normal amount of empathy. And if I you think, talk to, like, some NPC-ass people, you realize, like, Jesus Christ, like, you are missing... There, I don't even know who's uh, back there. There's, there's a portion of me where I'm... When people complain, I just can't relate. And that's a problem. I, mm. I actually have difficulty. Emotional. Being, yeah, I have difficulty being I have difficulty being empathetic because I'm like, <laughs> your life is What happened? Huh? There was this funny ass fucking mosquito flying by your head. Really? Is this my hair smells? Yeah. Run that's the tape. Laughing. Run the tape. Anyways. So what? would you say lying is bad in any form? Yeah. Oh dear. It's a sin. Even a white line? So you found like a mosquito, a funny mosquito. Oh, yeah. shut up, Jeremy. Is scared. this gaslighting? No. <laughs> there was a funny there was a funny mosquito. Yeah. So you were making faces. The mosquito was like <laughs> Maybe you should know. just what, continue, Jeremy. Yeah. Um sometimes I feel like you guys lie to me and you guys manipulate me. I'm just trying to be That's friends. all in your head, man. I can't believe you would look at your friends be that way. Be grateful for what you have. Yeah. One day, I, I hope you see us one day for just like who we are instead yeah. of the monster you've painted in. Yeah. Your like, stop reflecting your own version of us onto us. Sorry. That must have been my fault. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I struggle with I'm empathy. I'm glad you finally took accountability. I struggle with empathy sometimes because it's like, when it's like, hey, if you want certain things in your life, it's like, it's just, the shit is hard. Yep. Like, yeah. Stop complaining. Just get back on the horse. But then I guess it's like, yeah, let people like, 
But you know, but you know damn well when somebody is complaining to you in a way of like, I'm trying to feel this is an, the initial, this happened to me and I need to get this out and I need to vent it to somebody. And the difference of like, God, you are insufferable. Shut yeah. up. Yeah. It's, it's night and day. Because, because when you complain to me about anything, I fucking take it. Because I know this man doesn't fucking complain about shit. And if he's complaining, he's probably going through it. But <laughs> and if, but if somebody else if that complains to me all the time complains, I'm like, shut the fuck up. I don't even care how bad it is. I had like, to you drop just, a You friend. would complain about anything and everything. I think it's, it's uh, so complaining bad. with no like solution or like exactly. even wanting to fix What's whatever. What's the point of you complaining when it's going to go nowhere afterwards? Exactly. No, I had to drop a friend because that friend would complain about the same thing but never fix it. Yeah. yeah. Literally just, it was just so... So, so bad. I was just like, dude, I can't be friends with you because literally I would tell you like, maybe you should do this. Maybe you should try that. And she'll be like, oh, and then do the same thing again. And she's like, the same uh, it was so bad. Like I, I almost felt this. like I was going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you feel about people? Maybe they're not necessarily coming to you with the same problem. But they're just always complaining. Oh, that's, that no, that's, even, that's the same that person. Shit, that shit irks me too. It's the same type of person. It's not a different person at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love complaining. Yeah, no, Loki, that was him. <laughs> like, he would complain about shit and I'd be like, do this. Wouldn't do it. Yeah. And it's like, bro, there was an easy fix. You've been given so much to fix this problem yeah. with. But he's changed that. You know what I'm saying? If I had to deal with that for three years, like just that type of person, like who knows if you could. If the views were still hidden. Complain all day. But also, I feel no, like no, every I don't think I would be as close is what oh, I'm saying. Yeah. But because I see him being a person that fixes the things he complains on, it's like oh. I'm able to... I don't feel like my energy is going into a void of nothing. You yeah, know? Like, that, that's probably the biggest thing for me because my brain naturally is like, fix things. Yeah. Like, what else? And I guess when people don't do that, it's like, I'm not your therapist. Yeah. yeah. What were you going to say? I cut you off. But that, but that, to me, is not being empathetic. Yeah. I'm just like I'm not your therapist. Yeah, but you know, you need you need a certain level of empathy, but there's empathy and there's coddling. Like what yeah, like yeah. You, like I will feel your empathy and then try to fix your situation. If you don't want to fix help yourself, I'm not going to help you more than you want to help yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I it just a, will never work. There's a difference between girls and guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like girls sometimes I most of the time they don't really want a solution at yeah. the moment. Yeah. They want uh they want you to they want to come to you to vent mm -hmm. and, you know, be like, hey, it's going to be okay, you know, and then you can give them the solution. Yeah. But, like, sometimes they don't want to hear, like, you being like, oh, you did this wrong. Like, uh -huh. you should have done it like this. It's because they have really small, <laughs> small, small. I was going to, I, I, I totally agree with you on that. <laughs> Microscope. Like. No, I think that's an interesting topic. Sorry to hijack. I don't care. You okay? Yeah. You're not gonna be mad at me. No. That's the okay. creepiest thing. But she hey. does that look, the eye twitch. She has very good uh, facial expressions. Yeah, yeah, the facial expressions. Are but uh, what was I gonna say? Hey, do oh yeah, the pissed off like chewing gum face. Oh, the gong face. Oh, I love that. Shit. She doesn't. She's not even chewing gum. No. <laughs> All right. Can I? Can I say my thing, man? What the fuck? You're gonna cry about it, man. You talk about <laughs> it this the whole time on this podcast. Be grateful. You talk every other episode. <laughs> fucking sick of this shit. Damn it, he got me. Yeah. But, uh, say what you're gonna say. Men's mental health and women's mental health need to be handled very differently. Mm, yes. and, and too many people try to handle them like they're exactly the same. Yeah. I, I, I saw this, uh, this, I think Chris Willis, super good podcaster. I forget who he had on, but he was talking about how men's depression is treated just like women's depression, where women's depression, women's, the way that people treat women's depression is basically the leading therapy style treatment of depression which is like you're heard you're like you're worth it like that type of kind of like positive affirmation when most men the reason they're depressed is because they feel inadequate unrespected these feelings like, like demasculine feelings and those do not help to fix those feelings at all and then you look at like why male suicide rates are so high like all these all these things it's because like i don't think it's really tackling the issue mm -hmm. but it's also a little bit more difficult because how do you with words make a man feel like like his self-respect has gone up you can't right it's purely from that own man's actions and it's like okay so now how do you say words to this man for him to take his own action in fixing his depression you know yeah, I'd be curious for the people that are uh, out there if they've gone through therapy, men and women, and like what was the fix. And I'm curious if a woman is like, yeah, I've, you know, mine is a little bit different and I went through this type of therapy. Or mm -hmm. if a man is like, yeah, I'm curious. Because I don't really go through therapies. Therapy's just, never helped me. 
You gotta find the right one, and it's hard. The therapy, well, I mean, this has helped me more than therapy, and this is a form of therapy for me. Basically. But the therapy where I speak to a stranger and I tell them about my experiences, that never helped me. I think it's bullshit, too. But (laughs) you you watch Beef or no? Yeah. East Western therapy doesn't work on Eastern minds. I know. And then, actually, Christine from Suburb Talk said this, and Nick said it to us, where he was like, uh, she said that you need a therapist who is like your same race mm-hmm. and gender, ideally, because like that relatability. Imagine I went to a white woman and she was trying to, and I'm telling her some of my problems that resulted from me I've been being to a white woman therapist. Wait, I told y'all about my therapist. No. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the way, yeah, that story of how she tried to relate in the in the oh, cause I. Bro, that type of Bro, shit I, where it's I, like, I, she's I, like, on God? No, I said, I said, yeah, I grew up being beat all my life. She's like, oh, yeah, like, I grew up uh, the only Asian in a white community. So I so feel like, you. like I, feel, I felt pretty, you know, left out. I'm like, in my head, I was like, what the fuck is this? I never came back. <laughs> no, I, don't, I had pretty bad therapist as yeah, well. Yeah, I've had some bad therapists. But I had to talk more than she did because she was just like, <laughs> dude, I tried to talk about my problems and she'd be like, hmm. Mm. And then there was like awkward silence. I'd be like, Oof. I did the cheap and- version of therapy too. <laughs> There's like a version of therapy where uh, you get like th- training therapists and it's way cheaper. And I did that online through FaceTime. <laughs> and bruh, and I was like sitting there and it would be me. T- she would like ask, like, How was your day or some shit? And I'd talk. And then she'd like bring up, maybe ask one question and then I'll try to talk about it. And it would be me. Th- therapizing myself because I would say enough words to be like, Oh, but then that's probably because I did this. Yes, and she would yes. sit there and be like, yeah, that's a good observation. And I'm like, what the fuck am I paying you for? You're just a, a yes man right now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think there's ridiculous. also two types of people. A lot of, a lot of people want a therapist that'll kind of like, again, validate yes, them yeah. versus someone that can solve problems. So I, what I like better than therap- therapist is coach. Like when you were talking about, you should get a business coach. Like, yeah. cause like, what do I need therapy for? Like, I want to work out shit in my business and my life and, and blah, blah, blah. But a, a, a coach sounds way more like, Somebody that was like, okay, hey, hey, coach, I got this problem. How do I navigate? And it's like somebody that has the experience in what I'm going through. You know what I mean? So it's like either Asian man that like has childhood trauma, went to juvie or something. He has, he has to either have the same plot line of life or just like gone through business in a way that I'm trying to also go through. Wutak stands in front of a mirror every day. He's like, yeah, I did therapy for an hour. Are you going to find a man that went to juvie? Like Asian that's, man, That's juvie. why I don't go to therapy, man. Oh. I'm not talking shit about therapy, though. I know a lot of No, no, I'm not talking shit about it either. Also, if you find a good therapist, you can tell night it's night and day. It's 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 literally fine. It's a mental coach. And that's what I've noticed from people that have gone to therapy that love that are like, dude, it's really helped me. It's legit a coach walking you through life. That's the toughest part is finding the right thing. But therapy is really expensive. So if you don't want to spend that much, check out our fan house. We do dollar (laughs) store therapy on theirs. Only $7. (laughs) Thank you. Disclaimer. We're not, not claiming to fix yeah. anything. I am, I am actively trying to give you the worst advice. Yeah, low key, it'll make it. I actually feel like some of our advice is very good. Hey, we are doing dollar store influ. What is it? Dollar store influence. influence. Dollar store therapy with under the influence, where you pay money for therapy. It's not good. And if you are subscribed to the fan house, you get priority. So let's kick off with the first one. Mm-hmm. Is it a red flag? So, by the way, I apologize if we have to rush this one. I'm just in a huge rush. Something important. So, Ew. yeah, we're going to go for as long as we can. And then if we don't answer your question, we'll push it to the next one. So, don't worry. Is it a red flag if your significant other liked all your friends before? Or how can I lose this, hel- lose this insecurity? Let me read the backstory. I've been with my boyfriend for four years now. And we have a great and healthy relationship. However, I have, I have always had this insecurity in the back of my mind and want to lose it. Basically, my boyfriend and I have been in the same friend group since we met. And as most friend group goes, people will start liking each other. Long story short, without revealing too much, he basically liked all my friends before we started dating. It also doesn't help that some of them liked them back at the same time as well, although they never dated. And while he doesn't act that way towards them now, it's been a couple years, treats me perfectly. I can't help but feel insecure whenever we hang out. I've mentioned it before to him in the past. He apologized for it. But this isn't really an issue or problem that can be solved since I'm not trying to make them cut off our friends, lol. I hate feeling this way whenever we're together, even though I know they aren't going to do anything. Is there a way to lose this insecurity? Or, yeah, is there a way to lose this insecurity? Oh, that's kind of tough. Yeah. How, How, do you feel? How do you feel as a girl? Uh, I think I'd be in this, on the same boat, to be honest. Right, thank you, guys. Thank you. 
Join the Nectarverse. Text UTI to the number on the screen to get notified for the Super Bonsai drop. Like join Nectarverse. Do, <laughs> <this>. <laughs> do my thing. Do my thing. Everything, everything. 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 But not for real. Thank you for watching. Thank yes. you. Yes. Bye. Love subscribe. You. Subscribe to the fan house. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.